Hello, greetings, yeah. salutations. Welcome to the top 30 manga we did anime earlier today. And now we're going to be started with the honorable mention. My honorable mention is um, the Memodorium of Kyoko Oki Tagami. You know what I'm saying? That's more Nishio Ishin greatness. That's my boy. This is the forgetful detective. But long story short, she solves cases, but at the end of the day, she um she loses all her memory. So she like writes down shit on her body and blah blah yada yada. But the idea is that she has to solve a case in one day. There's obviously more to it, but yeah. Oh, uh, I might need to read this. This look interesting. It is. I don't think I've ever seen you drop this before. Maybe you have. I, I have actually that. quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> but it's an easy, easy, I just, but I, I, yeah. I, there's I, even I, a, um there's this, even a live action. Um, and I've actually watched it, like a J drama. Oh, I've never seen this one. I see a lot of your list, obviously, because you've done it before. But I've never yeah. seen this one. I don't know. I guess I wouldn't pay attention to this particular one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's dope. It's dope. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've read one of the things on your top at the very top. I'm gonna wait till you get to it. But mm. I finally got around to reading it. Hey. Sure it's All right, Pat. <clears throat> Number thirty. Honorable, honorable, honorable mention first. I, oh, uh, that is the honorable mention. I I made it number 30 earlier, and then I split it down to the honorable mention because I forgot to add something. But yes, okay. honorable mention, Hokuto no Ken, a.k.a. Fist of the North Star. Did Real you read gas. it for the group yet, or did you read it on your own? No, I read it on my own. Okay. Yeah, it's real gas, hands being thrown. The weirdest sibling dynamic I think I've seen. <laughs> but definitely strange. Hey, it 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 it's siblings, so fuck it. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> oh, I am a shinder. Nani? Yeah, if you if you want to read a, a eighty series with really good art, this is the one. He was a bitch. How you gonna come do that to me? Try to take my whip, and you know that's why he he got it. He had to go. I understood everything. <laughs> you understood. Rao, Rao is that nigga. He said to go yeah. to that. Um, honorable mention. Um, lizard. Lizard. Uh, <laughs> lizard. Um, yeah, I have, yeah, um, I have two with Senior Sojo and uh, Duke of Death. Of, and it, the Duke of Death and his Black Maid. Senior Sojo is just a rom com. So, under the fact that the main girl can't really talk about anything, can't talk through anything except for these poems called uh, Senryus, or yeah, like through these poems. And it's a pretty, just a really wholesome, cute, funny uh, rom-com series. Uh, it's a four coma, but the mangaka, like when it's like, when they, they have really good art when they need to be. So when there's like some important scenes, they use it. The Duke of Death and his Black Maid is just a, I think the, the thing that really caught me about this was the premise in that the premise is that main character, the Duke, has uh, basically any touch, anything he touches with the person, animal, plant, it dies. So he can not, he can never be touched in it. And the girl, girl beside him is his mate and the girl he's in love with. So basically, he, he's trying to fix his, he's trying to live his life and try to get better. But you know he can't touch it. I think the one that the really thing that really sticks out me for this is uh, in normal rom com series, you have a thing where the MC is always touching the main girl or like you know they touch the they're physically thing. But they're not actually in love with each other right away, right? Like, the physical contact is there, but they're not here. And this one's opposite. They can't touch each other, but they both know they love each other. It's just like Aww. a it's like a flips uh, flips the dynamic of that. And it's really interesting. Uh, the main the main couples rise. Right? So I think the manga also develops so side couples really well. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have it. All right, couple here. I got my dearest self with Malice Afterthought. Very into it's uh, interesting psychological. Murray's an Eminon. I didn't really know where to place this. So I just kind of want to reread it to get my thoughts together, but it'll probably go back on the top 30 after I do that. Mm -hmm. Eden is an endless world. Another good kind of psychological, kind of, I don't know even know what else to call it. Just a lot of shit happening. Yusogi, gambling, psychological, and how do you know Ipo? And I don't ever know if I'm going to get around to rereading that. But it's been a while since I touched it. But it's one of the. Wait, oh, hold, hold on. Uso Gui's not ranked. Uh -oh. No, because it. I have a uh, interesting thing with it, but I also probably need to look at it again because it easily could have been on there. But it's it's. it's parts of me kind of we talked about in the anime stream where sometimes it's just like things might have went too far. It might have went too far with me. 
but it's just a bunch of raw shit happening in there. But sometimes some of the I'm, gambles. I'm happen. just shocked because y'all niggas was going up for this shit. No, no, rocking. no. Not you niggas. I'm not part of that game. <laughs> he said, don't put that on me. I'm regular. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a regular guy. I feel but, like. Um, okay. Give us your 30. Fair it's still good. Fair okay. So 30 for me, bleach. All okay. right. So. Let's go. Yeah. This was a. Kubo. This was the last. Okay. This was the last big uh, manga that I read. Basically, before I basically kind of stopped reading manga for a while. Um, and I have to say, I was kind of shocked how much I was impressed with a lot of things with Kubo's writing that I didn't expect in the past before. I give him a lot more credit. Giver, what'd you get in here? <laughs> oh my god, we're not sleeping. We're not going to sleep. Today. I jumped in. I saw the manga now, and I had to jump in here. We're not going to bed oh, tonight. Well, to this going this short. We're not going five hours this time. Yeah, so... <laughs> We, we, yeah, that dude was know, crazy. I'm sort of glad I avoided that anime one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the the theme to, the theme but, of this uh, stream is yeah, concise. So got a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So Bleach got a lot of things going for it. Really good. Um, I still probably don't like the full bring arc as much as everybody else, but I think I like it probably That's better now. Funny. I still don't see it as like the top arc. And then uh, the first part of Thousand Year Blood War is a ten out of ten, and then I don't know what happened. So. But oh, overall, still really good. And Rukia is the best character in Bleach. Rukia! <laughs> All right, I'm Griever, give us your honorable mention at 30. Okie dokie. Um, how about you come back to me while I try to find the fucking Word document that has my list? All right. He um, hopped in unprepared. I, did, I didn't even know this was happening. Now I usually text me, and I didn't get uh, shit. Uh, you you got to go now. It's over. They texted me. Because if they didn't text me, I'll stay in the bed. <laughs> I promise I wasn't getting up. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lizard, give me a 30. My 30 is Gamoran. Um, this is just, uh, uh, one of the, I think one of the first manga I've, uh, I read when I was, when I, I actually got into reading manga and not the casual. You became a manga head? Yeah, my, the, my journey, my beginning, when I was a manga, it's a manga junior. Uh. I think this is just raw fighting, it's just samurai and all these different weapons. I love the main character, Gameron. Um, I, I, I mean, it's, yeah, it's just raw. They had different fighting styles, and yeah, with rawness as well. Uh, the only thing is really just obviously the infamous thing, the ending, but there is a sequel that I want, need to get to one day, but yeah, and that's all. Oh, we got we got two these episodes today. So I mean, so I mean, so, no, I'm, I'm quite up. I'm up to watch. I think I watched the last one. Yeah, Gamoran. I know Vince likes that a lot too. Yeah, so it's don't you know? I I know he'll pick it up. So yeah. Pat number thirty. Hey. Number thirty, Kenichi, the mightiest disciple. Uh, I read this a few years back for the first time. It always came on like the website that I was on while I was reading Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece. But I never read it until like it was actually done. Extremely funny, great mentors, all of them. I like all of them. Bad bitches, um, elite thoughts. Bad, bad. It got Shiguri. Oh my god, she made me tweet. Where Matalana, he just stopped giving a fuck. Whole nipple was out. I was yep. like, yes. In the chainmail too. I need yes, it. sir. Yeah. That's a good man. Yeah. He, it's feeding but the yeah, people. Fights go crazy. It's really funny. It's a great read. I recommend it to everyone. All right, so you're going to see a magic trick of mine. So you see that 30? What do you see? Mashal, Muscles and Magic. Oh, Watch what happens when I refresh. Nice, nice. My only change. Number 30 is now Al Ashi. The greatest football Whoa. manga I have ever experienced, and it's not close. It's not Blue Lock. 30? I, I, I like um, Ariel no Kishi, and I read some other ones. But yeah, man. It's 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 a testament to how good it is if you can make my my top thirty immediately, and this is something I only read this year. It's a, it's a huge feat because I have primacy bias, not um recency bias. So I tend to care about the things that I liked for a really long time. Um, like you have to really beat it because it got that longevity. And Mashal was also a testament to making it that quickly because I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, it's a big deal that it's at thirty. And it'll mm -hmm. it'll go up though for sure. It will, but okay. I got it at 30 for the time being. It is good stuff, and I don't even know nothing about football, but I was reading this. Yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna do 29. Lady of the Immortal. You guys know that I like um, Samra. Um, Jesus Christ, Samra. Um, he, I talk about Diawal Gelder a lot, which you will probably see later on. But shout out to Notsu. Shout out to um, Maki. A lot of really good fighting, good violence. Um, the fight scene with Manji. Oh my god, that beef with Manji was crazy. And the concept of this is basically that the swordsman is literally, he got these weird maggots in him that allows him to kind of like not die, but his immortality kind of gets tested later on. But it's a really good series, really good read. It's, 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 it's fire. It's fire. So that's my 29. Reaver, you have, you have your list? You've read document? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All I right. Give us, that. give us your honorable mention 30 and 29. Okay. So. Uh, my honorable mention is going to be Gamblefish. Okay. Um, I found it. I mean, yeah, it's got all the Ichi elements and stuff, but it was like high roller, like shit, like the. It it sort of felt like food wars to me, guys. You know what I mean? Like it sort of felt like that. Okay, we're starting with cooking. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna be doing some dungeon dice monster shit. We're gonna be rolling dice and playing card tricks and stuff. And it was like, no, I'm gonna cut my finger off, or I'm gonna do this and that like shit got intense really quickly and though the manga did what most manga do as we've all read so many is that they sort of fudge up the ending right um yeah. but at the end of the day it was it was really good i i enjoyed it the art style was there the the shading everything was really good and, and i mean the ladies were hot can't can't complain um so that's my honorable mention and then my number 30 it's it's a hard pick, but I think I'm going to choose Rave or Rave Master from Hiro Mashima. It's uh, just because a lot of people say you know Mashima you know fell off and stuff like that, and, and maybe he did. But I read the original Rave. There were some moments that had me tearing up and stuff like that. He knew how to write like very basic shonen type battle characters but then give them depth and he let the story, which didn't have so much going for it, but he let the characters lead the story and their emotional attachments lead the story. And there's some characters. And back then when he killed the character, they died. It wasn't some fairy tale bullshit where nobody dies. No, he, he killed off characters and he was not apologetic about it. And it, it hit in the fields and, yeah. So that's my, that's my 30. I'm not around to Eden zero, but I'll, I don't like Rave Master. I like fairy tale more. That's I'm going around to it. I'll, I'll well, someday. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, you wanted my 29 too? Correct. Uh, Mary Grave. Uh, I like that one. Or The Dead Man's Recipe, it's also called. Uh, it's a very short manga, but I love the art style. I love the concept. As you guys know from my waifu tier list, I love loyalty. I love a good you know, like like um, a man or a woman who will do anything for love just because they love someone so much. And this is a dude who came back from this impossible legend. The The whole premise is just basically the dead man's recipe is this recipe of all these fantastical monsters, magic ingredients to bring someone back to life. And he's on a journey to bring his wife back to life. And everyone asks, why do you think you, you can do it? It's a legend. Nobody's done it before. And he goes, how do I know it can happen? Well, she brought me back with it. And that's the whole like crux of the story. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. That's cool. There's a guy who literally, you know, the legend is proven real in himself. And he's like, yeah, but I, I didn't want her to do that. I want her to live, not me. And so it's one of those things that two characters love each other so much. And I mean, it's cut very short and they speed up a lot of it. Obviously, it wasn't very well received for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, so it ends in about 49 chapters, I think. But really good. I love Mary Grave. I wish it continued. Oh, I remember, I remember when everybody was talking about it. Um, Vince, twenty nine. Back when you called us devils, I actually wrote a review on this on my Medium. It's the only manga review I got. Plan to do more in the future. I just kind of fell off everything. But uh, yeah, this is a story basically about the biggest piece of shit of all time. He was <laughs> a rapist, an extortioner. All sorts of shit. And it's like, what if you forgot all your memories as being the biggest piece of shit of all time? Do you still deserve to like live your life now that you lost all your memories? Oh, so that was a I pretty think I interesting remember reading when you wrote on this. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting premise. And I've, I haven't really seen anything out of it. It's an entry morality question. Now, if you ask me, they should have got this thing out of here. I don't know what they were doing poking a bear. What if he did get a memory back? But um, I think it's really good. And I, I, I recommend it. So there you go. 
Uh, Pat. I mean, um, Lizard, Lizard, sorry, 29. Yeah, my 29 is so Pluto. Hey, uh, you're going to see uh, Urza, a lot of... Uzara. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see a lot of Urza. Oh, spoiler alert. Uh, this is this is also the first 90, uh, you know, starting into the 90s. Um, it's just a great um, retell, great and interesting way, like the uh, retelling of Astro Boy. I have not watched Astro Boy, but I can tell that Astro Boy is not, even without watching it, you can tell it's not the psychologically, uh, this kind of psychological thriller. But or uh, Urzawa just does it again, taking this uh, one story in Astro Boy and turning it into this huge, uh, this like uh, overarching well written story. And yeah, the anime coming out, I might watch it if I'm not lazy. But yeah. Oh shoot! I think I'll do an anime for that. That's what's up. Yeah, it just got enough. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Pat, number twenty nine is Toriko. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dori, 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 go! Let's yeah. go! This is not that that fucking anime that he was just fucking. No, <laughs> I like that song. Man. I like that song. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I was trying to hype the anime. I like that song. Man. <laughs> Okay, I, I like the art style. I think it's really good. Um, it has a pretty good cast. Honestly, I think it's kind of underrated. Uh, fights, cooking festival, one of the I best mean, arcs I've ever read. One of the best arcs I've ever read. The best arc in Shonen. Let's be real. It's no, not, I'm not going to well, We're not doing that or that. We can't. It's up there, but, you know. It's, it's really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I need to reread it. Shout out to Zebra. He's the goat. He is the goat. You said Coco wrong. Hmm? <laughs> you said Coco for you? That's fine. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> uh, give me 28. 28? Let's see. Okay, so I too have Urasawa on the list. With oh, Monster. Shit, I think Monster is a story of the ultimate good versus the ultimate evil. It's very, very, very enthralling. Seeing Tenma go throughout all of Germany, Europe, whatever, treating patients that have nothing to themselves, nothing to spare. He just does it out of the kindness of his heart. And then on the flip side, you see this nigga Johan just causing chaos everywhere he goes. I'm just like, bro. It's like one second you're reading Tenma treat somebody that's sickly. Then you see next chapter. You see Johan turn somebody literally insane after one conversation. It's it's really really jarring, but at the same time, it's like wow, I need more of this. Like I kept turning the pages. I was like, wow, that's so good. A monster is a really good series. It's really good. Shout out to to Johan, man. Uh, Tapu. Tapu is a, a martial arts manga that I really like. Uh, mixed martial arts. And it's kind of it kind of explores the kind of um concept of someone who's kind of supposed to be like a natural born genius who could just kind of do anything physically, and then having to deal with somebody who specifically had trained in that sport for a long time, thus not necessarily being that gifted. And I thought that they explored the theme really well. Fortunately, I can't remember exactly what happened with the ending. I don't know if it got axed or something happened, but it didn't really yeah, get it a proper. Like, it got like rushed or axed. Yeah. But fights are good. I really like the main character, how she looks. I like the fights. Um, they're pretty brutal. And I like that they like it's it's like international. So you have like the Brazilians doing the like Brazilian jiu-jitsu and all kind of stuff too. So I think it was a really good read, all things considered. But um yeah. The ending is the reason why it can't get any higher than it won't go any higher than this. But I really I really do like Tapu. Tapu is super dope. Yep. Um twenty-nine yeah. for you, Lizard. Twenty-eight, sorry. Uh my twenty-eight is Zach's Bell. Um, hey, hey, yes, sir. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Catch my heart, Betty Meadow. Betty Meadow. <laughs> Catch my heart, Betty. A one, two, one, two, Betty Meadow. Betty Meadow. Betty Meadow. Chee, 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 oh, bye. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Mug it, mug it, mug it. Well, yes, that's Smith. That's been so clean. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Zashvel is just a. Uh, it's a battle show anime about this guy. This uh, MC. He has a you know like he's big ego. He meets this doll kind of doll like kid who who he can uh, get powers out of using the book he gets and the the fights he have. And man, who doesn't like a good uh, 
battle shonen man who doesn't like good fighting and <sighs> thing they're just executed on the highest level the fights are fire the characters are fire the powers are fire it's just, everything about it is fire ending is amazing it's not everything about it though i know there's a second part that just started i might have to check it out but yeah if you haven't watched Sashville, then get on and experience of uh, uh, an amazing watch. read that watch read it watch. i'm not be reading wow. right now. We're trying. We're trying to get people to. Read. Honestly, I like the anime too, though. But yeah, I haven't watched. I haven't watched anime, so I can't really close on the anime. But read the manga for sure. If you want an uh, amazing battle, uh, battle shonen. But yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The time to tell niggas to watch shit is over with. Read. <laughs> All right. So my <laughs> my twenty eight is Eden Zero. Uh, I think it right. brings out the best of Hiromashima's best in fairy tale and best in Rave Master. I think he combines both here and does a really good job. Kraken Joe is actually one of the best villains I saw all of the 2010s, and it actually really shocked me. You've probably seen some of the panels before, but he did some shit I didn't expect. And also, I think he handles um space and time fairly well here, and I didn't expect that because those are very hard things to handle and do really well, and I think he actually does a pretty good job. So Mashima, when he wants to, he can be a very compelling writer. Obviously, he's still doing the friendship thing, which depending on how you feel about that, you either love it or, or hate it. But I think it's his best work as like right now. It's not finished yet. Still going. It's all going. But I think it's really, really good. And I like all the characters. But he does have same face syndrome. So, you know, take that. Vince, you know. Vince can I ask uh, you it's, one it's, question? It's more than same face syndrome. They're the same characters. But yeah, go ahead. Now, I just have one question because I started to read Eden Zero, didn't really like the premise and stopped, even though I really like Mashima's works overall. I just have one question. Does he actually kill characters and let them stay dead at this point? Yeah, certain characters do, but I just think every art gets better. It starts off, when okay. I first read it, it started off as a six, and then it got a seven, and then he just continually got better. He kind of found a, a groove here, and he did some things that were kind of unexpected. He okay. he's he not killing people like he would in Rave Master, but it ain't fairy tale either. All so, right, all right. I, that's, I, that's what I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, so okay. he's kind of in the middle. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> the thousand year quest is still going. <laughs> Say a word. All right, Griever. Uh, the twenty eight and then twenty seven. Twenty eight and twenty seven. Okay, so uh, it's already been talked about. Uh, Gamoran. Okay. I mean. This is, uh, I was going to make a video about this a long time ago. And I mean, at the end of the day, I remember my opening bit was going to be like, discount Kenshin. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it really, it's not exactly. I mean, it, it does have a lot of tr- uh, similarities to a Rihanna Kenshin and stuff like that, right? But does that mean it's bad or copying anything? Hell fucking no. The series, you know, following the swordsman and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, everything i love it and and uh i mean iori man iori was one of those characters he was like one of the models back in the day for what eskinor eventually reached the pinnacle to be he was that guy he was that character and plot didn't keep him away like it doesn't one piece with shanks or fucking gildarts and fairy tale no iori literally said oh i didn't realize this shit was going down i'll go kill the main bad guy fucking straight up gwent and he was the one it wasn't the main character it was so different for me i was like wait a minute you mean the main character isn't gonna be no no that's not the fight and i was like oh okay so you mean the better swordsman because the main character isn't better than this dude is going to go and solve the problems i'm like you mean real world can apply to a manga what the fuck and i was like yeah this is this is good and there was a lot more to it but anyway i mean Iori is the reason I stuck around for the manga because it, it shares a lot of the classic shonen battle manga traits. There's nothing super new under the sun, but that was something that I was like really unexpected. And I was like, oh, okay. We're, we're cooking with something here. So um, so that was Gamoran. And then uh, my, uh, my 27, which was already talked about as well, was uh, uh, History's Strongest Disciple. Kenichi. Ah, yeah. I mean, this manga, 500 chapters of pure comedic and battle greatness. I loved it. It was over the top. And it was not apologizing for that shit whatsoever. 
I really enjoyed its read. I've read it three fucking times. How I found the time before, I never fucking know. But it was it was just fun. When the chapters were serious, you took them seriously. And when it was supposed to be a sitcom, it was a sitcom. And I loved it no matter what avenue they wanted to go down when they wanted shit to be real when and i mean it has its flaws that's why it's lower on the list it does have its flaws over its big large 500 chapter run but overall like the characters are so endearing like ever like i don't think anybody despises any one of the masters or any of the uh 10 shadows one fist or i don't love the old man the perverted old man but i don't hate i'm not gonna lie this is what this is one of the few manga that i've ever read that i dropped I don't like this manga. Not sure. Wow, really? Oh, but okay. it, he he has a personal reason for that. Okay, okay, fair enough. But I mean, I'm I'm still sitting here like the fact that the the mentor characters still have beef and also grow. We don't generally see that, you know. Like Kenichi has multiple mentor characters. You can argue, but at the end of the day, you have these characters where they still have a personal journey and a beef still to solve and stuff like that. Generally speaking, we don't see that. Rayleigh is retired. He's done. Whitebeard is retired and he's done. Fucking uh, uh, Kisuke is done. Everybody else, mentor characters are done. They're finished. They, they, you know, if they have their final battle, it's to save their student. It's not because they necessarily needed to ever get involved. They don't have a personal beef with anybody. So mentor characters actually still having character development in the series from the get-go, sort of intrigued me more. It was something a little different. And having multiple mentors, of course, too. So, Fair enough. But yeah, that's, that's my 27. Um, 27, Pat. Spot, Mike. I'm down to you, Lizard. Let me run upstairs! <laughs> Wait, you're looking at the list. Just tell me what it is. Repeat that? Ice shield. He said tell you what it is. Ice shield. Oh, ice shield, ice shield, ice shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Ice Shield 21. Uh, like I put it as honorable mention in the anime, but uh, manga, manga is so, 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 so good. Oh my God, Yusuke Murata is a god when it comes to illustrating. I love his art style. It's truly one of the best I've ever seen in my life. Not only that, series is amazing. Um, Senna, this is one of those stories where you see a character actually grow right before your very eyes. From a timid, shy little kid to a strong, dependable young adult. It's pretty cool. Um, cast is amazing. Everybody read I Show 21, man. Elite sports manga. And also, uh, Sato versus um, Shinruji Nagas, one of the best sports anime match. I mean, sports manga matches ever. Easy. We all know. Football. Shout out to America football. Lizard. 27 uh my 27 is uh blue giant uh this is a jazz manga you're gonna learn two things i love music manga. i, can't hear, I, love, it. I uh, can't hear it i'm joking okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> well you know some of us who can visualize music do not have that problem oh, um shit. this he said, is he said skill issue <laughs> He uh, nah, he completely capped. He didn't hear none of that shit, man. I mean, like, they did, there's a movie and they have a soundtrack, so you could just listen to that along with it. But I'm crying. He just pulled out. See, he had a trump card. He said he, he, he literally pulled an ace attorney. Yeah, <laughs> he had this in his pocket the whole time. Just say that shit, nigga. Damn. <laughs> see? Um. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. So yeah, you know, learn. I like music punk. You learn. I love manga with the uh, you know, with blue in it. Uh, Blue Giant is just a. It's a jazz manga, but. A uh, car- uh, the MC named Dai, who uh, who is just you know he's a normal student, but then he um, experience he listens to jazz once and he gets blown away. He decides to dedicate his life into becoming a jazz player, not any jazz Commitment. player, the greatest jazz player of all time. Commitment, and, like he it's insane. If he'll he'll like practice outside, and, and like he does practice he, like practices his saxophone outside. If it's raining, snowing, doesn't matter what. And I think um, the biggest thing is Dai and his just his commitment and his desire, his drive to become uh, the uh, greatest jazz player, no matter what. Like he he does what he wants, and it comes through in his playing because he plays with just such um, uh, grand grandiose. You can tell he's like really into it. And these type of characters, he kind of reminds me of Luffy in a way, in the terms of like how dedicated they are to the uh, to their dreams. And these kind of characters can uh, you know sometimes. Uh, 
annoy me and be like, oh, bro, you know, it's kind of be like, but I think Blue Giant does it in a way where I just fuck with it. I think the the people he made throughout his journey from a high school, because it's, um, well, first of all, it's four parts. Well, the fourth part is just out. Uh, uh, fourth, the fourth part just started. And the second, we're only, we're the, only, the second part's only just getting translated though. So we're behind. But it's his journey from like his time in high school until like his mid 30s, uh, until like, you know, because of Professor Jazz Fair, whichever, well, so well, I'm just uh, adulthood. But yeah, Blue Giant is just, man, if you want great, if you if you appreciate Jazz more thing, I think you'd really look fuck with it. But yeah. All right. Mint, 27 uh, and 26. Uh, 27, Umi no Misaki. I think it's probably the best harem manga I've read to date. And um, basically, it's about a teen who gets called like the water god. And now he has to have these three girls committed to him. And they're on this like really small island. But the thing oh, I, I think know that... that one. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing that yeah. makes it so good is that he's actually forced to kind of like learn all three girls and like actually kind of have to build chemistry with all three which is how it should be done if you're gonna do a harem don't just pick one and be like oh well one's obvious thing he actually builds chemistry with all three and that's what makes it so good because that's what it said the art depending on how you feel about certain type of art styles it may not be for you but i really like it i think it's really wholesome but it's still got some of the harem stuff in it so it's not completely wholesome because that's not what harem trying to do out here that's not what we're here for but uh yeah it works <laughs> Wholesome Next in some ways, not so wholesome in other ways. And so I didn't think Twitch. anybody else read that, man. I, I, I loved it. I loved it. It, yeah, was, it, it was really it, good. Really good. 26, yeah. Breaker the New Ways, also connected with the Breaker. And there's the third part that's a webtoon. I have not read that. So this is just about parts one and two. Uh, I think part one is just okay. But when you combine it with part two, you really got something here. Great martial yeah. arts story. Yes. I never finished yeah. New Ways. I'm a fraud. It's just oh, funny because I well, said as soon as he gets his core back and he can use like key or whatever fuck it was like, I'll read it. And I, t- I told him what to tell me. They told me, and I never read it. <laughs> never read it. Oh well, never. whenever you get a chance, there's, there's no rush. There's a part. Three I like the first, like the said, first season. Read it. Oh, yeah. oh, I've I've actually caught up with the webtoon. And I'm trying to get caught up enough to uh, review it on my channel. Actually, oh, uh, there, Eternal yeah. Force is tell, what it's called. It's called yeah. Eternal Force. You can yeah. tell me how it is later after stream or just yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the breaker new waves. Really, really good. You know, I love martial arts. I'm biased oh, towards good. martial arts, except for one. I hope it, it might show up on somebody's thing, so I'm not going to say it right now. If it does, I'll, I'll bring it up. <clears throat> but anyway. But yeah, the freaking new wave, really, really good. I recommend it. You like me head martial arts stuff? This is for you. Agree for yeah. 26. 26. I have a W change. It was a very short run. It's like 20 chapters. <laughs> oh, wow. Never read that before. Yeah, oh, uh, it was it was a one shot first. There's two versions. There's W change with one exclamation point, then W change with two. So uh, because it got a one shot, which was slightly different, and then it got a uh, it got a I don't know a monthly weekly release, and then it's uh, then it's done. Yeah, that that's the one. Anyways, it's it's a fun little. It is classic shonen to a T. Okay, like a high school girl who just wants to fall in love, sort of idea. But she's, of course, the daughter of a Yakuza family. So she's expected to be. And, of course, their blood, the blood that runs in their veins, gives her superpowers and all this shit. You know, it's classic. And the high school is filled with, like, people of the Yakuza and stuff. You know what I mean? It's that classic. Oh, high school is, junior high and high school is so fucking dangerous in the Japanese manga world. Like, fuck world governments and nuclear missiles. We have student councils, bitch. You know, so, I mean... It it was a lot of fun. I wish that it had gone on longer. It really could have been one of those slapstick, just we're, we're unapologetically using all the tropes, but the art style was clean. It was a lot of fun. And uh, she does get the guy in the end, which is nice. So, but yeah. The- spoiler story for 19 chapters of a story, but spoilers, yeah. The guy rejects her. 26 was there. Yeah. Uh, my 26 is World Trigger. If you guys watched my, if you watched the anime stream, you'll know why I like it. If you didn't, go watch that. But uh, I'll just quickly say, I think uh, one most in-depth battle, tactical battle series I've ever read. I think Daisuke, uh, 
what's his name? Uh, the mangaka. Sorry, but the, the mangaka's name. If I find that Daisuke Ashihara's a uh, really well written, uh, really in depth thing, and I I think he does it uh, like. I think he interacts interesting. The only thing really is just the um, scheduling because he has health problems. If that was better, I'd probably get higher up my list because there'd be more chapters. But yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. Agree. Agree. Really good stuff. Low world trigger. Go ahead, Pat. Oh, brother. 26. Hunter, Hunter. I'm higher on the anime than I am the manga. It's only here because of Karapika. That's all I have to say. Okay, I like that. Right so, sorry, to the point. Uh, twenty-seven for me, Black Lagoon. Um, it would be uh, higher, but it don't come out. Drop, but yeah, don't come out. It don't yep. come out. Yeah. So that's a, that's it. The only reason it's here be way higher because I actually have I love it, but the shit don't come out. Y'all know my rules. Y'all know about Revy Two Hands, so I gotta go into great detail. But you see, by like you see, by like her right there, Russian Queen, Scar, smoking a cigar, she raw. I need that pussy, huh? Next. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Keep talking. Yeah. You're spitting. Wow. 26. Wow. 26 is to Blossom Reservoir Chronicles. Um, Clamp. If you like Card Captain Sakura, if you're into Holic, um, XXX Holic, but I don't think you pronounce the X is, which is the other side of the coin to this story. It is quite, it's quite a masterful, um, connected universe. Worlds, uh, uh, Subasa World Chronicles, I believe, is the one that's ongoing now, at least last time that I checked. But yeah. Um, the thing about this series that I have a tremendous respect for is how it connects to Card Captor Sakura, Card Captors, and how it goes alongside Holic, but it's did something with the main character that I didn't really see that for like, I, I would say like maybe not half, but maybe a third of the manga, like a decent chunk. You're kind of not, you're kind of following a false MC and that kind of bait and switch. And when they kind of, you know, flipped it on you, I was like, I've never, I don't think I've ever really seen this in a story. There's one comic book that comes to mind with a false chosen one, but it was really good. The artwork's amazing. The magic system's really dope. Um, it has some of my favorite arcs of two of my favorite arcs, I would say, of all time. Like, if I'm in the top 30 arcs, two of those arcs would be in it. And I used to basically call it the manga Kingdom Hearts because they traveled from world to world. Um, and basically had to like complete a task and then they go to the next world. So it's super dope. It's time the usual uh, stream Tagashi Slander. Oh, fuck Tagashi. There you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> tired, man. I, you I, you I, can do I 25. You might as well do 25, too. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you? Why? Didn't you guys? You guys didn't do? T- wait. No, everybody did twenty six. Yeah, I did twenty six. You, you did this. You, you, no, you, you guys are twenty six behind. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Bills above. Shout out to Let's Oga. Go. Let's go. You know, shout out to Super. Tojo. Shout out to no. my goat Fuji. Right. Put the he put the he put the two the the tissue in his nostril. He started folding people. I just get it up. <laughs> he was getting um, possessed by strong demons from Behemoth and whatnot. That arc is actually hilarious. I think this is one of the funniest manga I've read. Olga is a really great lead. I think the cast is fantastic. It it has that like delinquent Yankeeism that I like, but it has a demonic supernatural spin to it. Because I'd argue it kind of starts out not similar to Curls, but there's like the newcomer, the head honcho third year, blah, 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 blah. But then, you know, there's the de- demonic component to it with Baby Beale and everything. So absolutely hilarious. Action is incredible. It did get a rush ending, unfortunately. Um, Nasu versus Oga, Oga versus Takamiya are two of the my favorite manga fights in general. I think they're really, really, really good high tier. So, shout out to Bills. I, I wanted to put it. It was on my list before, and I wanted to keep it there, but I literally don't remember anything, so I had to push it off. But when I read it again, yeah. it's probably going to come back on the list. That happens. I get it. That's how I feel about some of yeah. you know, I'm a, I'm a nine on this. That some of those fights, especially when Natsu hits Oga into that ceiling and he goes, hey, y'all talking like I'm when one-shotted. I'm about to come down out of the ceiling and kick the shit out of you people. I was like, this man just got one-shotted and he's talking through concrete? Fuck he yeah. got he got the Olga burial special, but he also tagged Olga's arm when he did it. He wrote on it with a marker, and he was fine when he pulled oh, him to the concrete. Oh yeah, it was yeah. really was it was like one of those. Him. He like I like I it's uh, one of my favorite things that I think a lot of the best, um, you know, creative teams and whatnot can do when they want to showcase that two two combatants are at least somewhat equal. 
they show um them both get like a hit on each other in some way. The best example I could think of, like pretty recently, that I I think of all the time is Virgil and Dante. When Virgil hits him with his um thing, but Dante pulls out his sheath and throws it back at him, so it pushes him back too. Like when you could do that, I get fucking hype. So yeah, that would make cry five is when it happened at the very end. This is when Virgil kind of got his powers back, uh, got his, his form back. It was like really good. Shout the you know you know Barry Delight man, Barry Delight. All right, uh, Pat. Uh, number 25 is Death Note. We already spoke on the anime. The manga is just as good, if not better. Um, the ending is different <clears throat> from the anime, so <clears throat> it's worth reading off that alone. I always forget, the, I, I really I always forget their name. It's, it's like Obata and, o- and Oha, something, whatever, but they're a really yeah, good it's, creative it's, team. I like that. Yeah, they're a good, yeah. they're good duo. Yeah, they're and, a good duo. And uh, Obata, Obata and Oba, yes. But they're they're really good. The art is really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a classic series, man. If you ain't read Death Note, you the ultimate out. gateway. You get on that. It's the thing that taught a lot of us that someone just have to get beat up, punch, and pile drive through the fucking concrete to have a good time reading something. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Lizard, Pat, I will say just really quick, I have the whole black uh, volume Tonkamon version with the black pages right behind me, and I agree, man. Death Note is. It was. Uh, I didn't like. Is that, is that the all in one? I was. I'm like, this is way too big. I feel I like it'll come know. apart. I have. I have the individual um volumes and volume thirteen though. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's six because I've got the vol. I've got the like Beyond Birthday. I've got the novels too. But it's so do six I. Um, the Los Angeles BB Murder Cases is actually the first light novel I ever read, and that was when I really like got introduced to Nisio Ishii back in two thousand and eight. So I feel you on that. Nice, nice. Uh, my uh, my turn. Lester Man. Yes. Hey man, we cannot say the name. I mean, Chicano Toko. <laughs> he, he was tripping. It's Omi Chicano Toko. Do not look at the English name. This is a short 23 episode romance. Uh, a rom com, but I say rom com is probably the best thing about a main character who gets into a it's misunderstanding. A he gets a misunderstanding with a, this girl and he it resolves it. I just like that it's. Of all the concept of him trying to follow, uh, trying to use 2chan, which is like basically Japanese or I think it's Japanese 4chan, if I had to say it in a way, to try to learn how to confess to him is funny as fuck. And I like how uh, uh, it, does, it doesn't st- end with the standard couple of the main two, the people that the how the MC and like the main girl that he built, well, the girl he meets right away, they don't end up and it ends up in a different going a different direction. It's 23 episodes, uh, 23 uh, chapters, it does not overstay its welcome, and it is really nice. If you just want a short romance, just watch uh, read this and have a good time. I love this pick. I'm gonna check this one out myself. I like that art style that I see from the from that stream. Yeah, I, when yes. I did my top 30 mangaka, I had them on there. Um, all right. Ooh, I like this. Go ahead, Vince. Talk about it. Uh, Nosoku Ana, and like, I just think this. I think one of Japan's best qualities. What I always say is that they have the ability to take a really weird premise to tell a really simple story and make it interesting. And this is it. This is a really good romance with adult characters and just kind of how two people kind of share a weird bond, but at least just blossoming in something more. And I just think this is a really good with a really nice art style. It's a really good romance. And I just think everybody should read it. It's really good. I'm collecting the volumes. Let me collecting them. This, uh, shout out to Ryuta um, Amazune. Amazume. This shit is yeah. raw. This shit is raw, definitely. Reaver. 25. 25, I have. I'm sort of cheating, but not really because it's been published enough. Is. Legend of Zelda by Akira Himakawa. I love this art style. It reminds me of the old 80s and 90s art style. It's the the Zelda manga. It started off with one Ocarina Time volume, and now it's still the Twilight Princess one. It's still ongoing. It has the best of the best. It has the fan theories, everything in there. The Twilight Princess one is just it's just golden man it's taking all the all the fan theories that we love and know about you know from a jora's mask all the way through and i mean she did um she did some oracle ones and i think a link to the past or maybe one of the wind like phantom hourglass ones but she's been following the link from ocarina of time through and i mean the omnibuses and everything it's just it's gorgeous art 
it looks exactly how I'd expect the anime if they ever were to make an anime of Zelda to be. And but they add those little things like now I don't want to kill Volvegia when I replay Ocarina of Time anymore. I I I don't want to play the Fire Tail. I do not want to kill that dragon. That's Link's pet dragon from back in Kakui. I I I can't do it. I don't want to do it anymore. That's too that's that's heartbreaking to me. So they took all the nice little fan theories, put them in the manga format in gorgeous art style, made it happen. I mean, hell, they even had the whole Twilight Princess, uh, the Golden Wolf is actually the hero of time, regretting the fact that he can't go kick Ganondorf's ass. And he's like, so I got to train your fucking ass because I'm dead because that son of a bitch waited long enough until I died. Otherwise, I would have been the one for the job, not you. So pull your head out of your ass. I don't think I like that. Good. I like I like I like the game's um reasoning for it for it better. The game like what's the game's reasoning again? I forget. Um he tra- he died a tragic a tragic hero's death before before he believed it was time and because he ha- he was forced back in time and he lost all of his friends including Navi um during the Majora's Mask he was a hero that they didn't really have a kingdom to save despite the fact that he actually did save it because Zelda sent him back in time to the child to be a child again. So he was actually kind of bitter. So he died kind of bitter and that's why he became a yes. hero shade, which is kind of a tragic end for the hero of time in a lot of ways. 100%. And then he I don't care about the Ganondorf bit. That doesn't move me. I don't I don't like No that. no 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 he's he's that's still there. Tricky. He's still that all that all that see what what I like about this Naya, so maybe I misexplained is that it's still canon. They never no, deviate from game canon. And that is what happened but what, what I'm saying is is that the new Twilight Princess link is what they do with him is they make him the I I I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm not cut out for this. They make him the the hero they he has to be the hero. He gets Triforce and stuff, but he's he he's more incompetent than the one that we knew. And the hero shade is like, Well, it's my job to buck you up into fucking shape, Manny. And and he's like, Well, why don't you just do it if you're so fucking good and stuff like that? And then it's revealed that he is the hero of time. He's like, You don't think I want to? You don't think I want to fucking go do this? But I can't. It's your job now. It's your time. My time pass. You know? Even the Majora's Mask manga plays on the idea of he has the memories of being the hero of time and basically no one takes him seriously because he's just a child you know what i mean so yeah there's trust me if you give it a read which once again ocarina of time majora's Mask, three volumes twilight princess 10 volumes there's a lot of character development you'll love it the only one that i that i own is the one that tells us the the story of Hylia's chosen champion before she decides to reincarnate as a human i like that one i don't really i have the games i don't need that for the rest of them but give me your 24 uh 24 is uh it originally was the pokemon adventures manga so i love this manga i love the idea of pokemon taken seriously pokemon get killed it's it's brutal and stuff like that but since they're not fainting they're not fainting, uh, they dying. <laughs> what's that they're not fainting they're dying Oh, yeah, they died. And Arbok got sliced in half in that shit. So, yeah, fuck. Yeah, they die. They die in that shit. Yeah, um, it, it's a lot more serious. It's a lot more serious and stuff. And the Pokemon Adventures manga explains a lot of the gaps left in the games. Like why Red was on Mount Silver back in Gold and Silver when we all played it and shit. So, I love that shit. Um, but, uh... If I can make one small tweak to this entry, it's still Pokemon, but I have to give it to the new fan manga that comes out. It's a Pokemon fan manga, and that's why I'm sort of like, I don't know if it counts technically, but it incorporates the anime, the manga. It incorporates everything. It is literally the best piece of Pokemon media, and I mean every game. I grew up on Pokemon people with a Game Boy, and I'm saying every game anime manga bullshit i'm sorry this is the best piece this is the culmination of perfection when it comes to pokemon media i don't really know what the fuck it's called i just have some crazy link to it it's got 15 chapters they're like a hundred something pages a chapter gorgeous art perfect conclusion of everything if you grew up in the 90s or 2000s with pokemon and it's just telling the story of red once again and stuff like that but it's it's done beautifully, man. I mean, I live streamed it on my channel. I fucking cried at two fucking chapters, man. 
I cry. I weeped like a little high school girl reading some of this shit. I couldn't continue past a certain page. It was that fucking good. So originally on my list, I had Pokemon Adventures. But if we can include that little tidbit of fan manga, uh, I'm going to choose that one. Chicken and Toko probably falls under that moniker anyway. So you're good. Um, ah, awesome. Wait. I think question go next. It's you, right? Uh, is it? And then the yeah, I'm going now. 24, right? Uh, my yeah. 24 is uh, Venom Saga. You have a little... Uh, actually, I was about to say, uh, unlike uh, certain people here, uh, uh, I learned the lesson from you. I, I do not have any enemies. There you they, go. Tell oh, brother. No. They might see me as enemies, but they're just misinformed people. They don't know. They don't do not know. They're the not truth. enemies. Uh, um, the little lower, the a uh, little bit of lore. The last time we did this series, just I was actually way up, uh, 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 way higher. I see, uh, I, I I gave it a hundred before. But I had to drop it because one of the orcs uh, was was pretty pretty bad, so I couldn't justify doing a hundred. But even still, I think it bounced back. The corner arc is amazing, is doing really well. But I just like the journey, like the journey of going from a kid who's just obsessed with trying to read this um, uh, this idealistic battle warrior Viking, and realizing that uh, you know life isn't really like that, and it has changed from that. I know, you know. <laughs> That and some of you guys don't like the whole pacifistic thing, but I think it's well done. I think the farm arc and the arc after that, which I forget the name of, is some of the best arcs I've ever read. And yeah, we talked about it a lot. Shout out Villain Saga. Yeah. I don't I really don't have an I don't think Villain Saga is bad. I just I need my Vikings killing, bro. That's all I keep saying to people. That's not yeah, bad. No. It's not bad though. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I just prefer Vikings to TV shows, at least for yeah. a while. Um Pat, I believe. Pat? Yes, number yes. twenty-four, Kimetsu no Yaiba, uh, series. Midget no Yaiba, it's so <laughs> and it's sibling love story. Um, a lot of very tragic character arcs, but it's done very well. I enjoyed the art style. Actually, I think it's a reflection of the time period. And yeah, Kimetsu no Yaiba is twenty-four. It'll probably drop a little bit more. As I'm rereading some of the older stuff that I didn't put on here, like Shaman King, Bells Above, and all that stuff. But I honestly, Pat, and all honesty, I hope it drops off your top thirty completely. Okay, yeah, Griever, go to bed. <laughs> Insane. Uh, I do not uh, like this series. I am it's a Yaiba. I am a uh, Okay, enjoyer. I don't like Pokemon, so yeah, there that's we have fair. It. That's fair. That's cool. Yeah. I hate I hate Pokemon fans more than I hate Pokemon. <laughs> I don't like Pokemon either. You're That's fair. not Tem Tem. Um, twenty four is Katekyo Hitoma. Dibon. Yeah, come on, man. Y'all know the jokes. I talk about Reborn run back number six. We talked about Reborn a lot. I had like three more Reborn streams after the fact. Zanzus is one of my all time favorite characters. Dying Wolf Flame is one of my all time favorite. Um manga energy power slash magic systems i think the fights are amazing i love akira mono's art uh, not it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination i think it has one of the most egregious dis ex machinas of all time though in retrospect i laugh about it more than it upsets me with uh, like what, what does simi call him tom bout tom bout tom bout like where the fuck did you come from talking about I got, I got the blood not primo i got silent penalty I'm like bro who are you where the fuck did you come from but all, all, but um, the last arc was amazing. You know, they got. I, it has also one of my favorite illusionists. If you look closely into the background, who do you see behind everybody? Who is that? Who? 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 Rokudo Mukuro. I think he's the greatest illusionist I've seen in like manga and anime. With the six pass of reincarnation, Itachi come outside. Chia clan come outside. Whatever them burger aliens in Boruto come outside. You not messing with this man. But yeah, shout the box weapons too. Box weapons are awesome. Yeah. Everyone just did 24, right? Uh, yeah, no. I haven't done mine yet. Uh, go ahead, Vince. Yeah, okay. And do 23 after okay. this. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was planning to do. So my 24 is Crows. Um, I mean, you'll go on it more now later down the road, but Crows, really good delinquent, gets the feelings back, back to 90 peak masculinity. You get your friends and you talk with your hands. You know what I'm saying? Rhyme and accidentally. And, uh, you know what that reminded yeah, me of? I just beat well, everybody. Your boss. 
Your organization has already fallen. Wow, it's crazy. But they ain't me, though. Run them. <laughs> run them. Yeah, run them. Yeah. <laughs> just, Carl is just really fun. I think he does a really good job with not only friendship, but other things like responsibility and what it means to mature in life and, you know, the streets and all that. It's just not all going to be at the what it is at the end of the day, you got to grow up past that. Just, just a lot of subtle things here and there. Subtle, but not so subtle at the same time. Because if you're not paying attention, that's a different thing. But really, really good stuff. Boy, one of the best MCs. Rena Man, also one of the best characters. Rena Man is one of the ultimate bosses in a, in a series. Like, 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 you know, I ever see like an ultimate fader? He really is him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is him. So I really love that series. And then for 23 for me, Eternal Sabbath, ES. And uh, just very interesting take on, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Niggas. People with the, with the uh, I forgot what type of power it's called. Music. Esper. Like Esper. Oh, stuff okay. like that. Yeah. So, and just like use your mind and things like that. It's just. Really interesting sci-fi. Again, like I said, you, you don't get a ton of sci-fi. And I think this is definitely one of the better ones. And I just think it's really, really interesting. And I don't want to say too much about it because I want to give too much away. Recommend reading it. Okay, okay, okay. It's only 83 chapters, too. So it's not that long. Griever, what's your Michael Jordan? What's my Michael Jordan? Well, obviously, it's the GOAT, Michael Jordan, because fuck LeBron lovers. But Sun Can Rock. I like that. I, I like that. Say it again. Fuck what? <laughs> LeBron lovers. I ain't gonna yeah. Be, yeah. I'm going to get flanked. I'm going to get flanked. No, fuck uh, him. No, <laughs> my, my, Michael Jordan is, is definitely yeah. top one. Fuck LeBron. Absolutely. But Sun Can Rock is my favorite and i did read dr stone i've read a lot of Boichi's uh work over the years and uh it, it's it's his best work a lot of people complain yes the ending shit but once again if we were going to go down a list and say that every manga that has a bad ending is shit well guess what all of our lists would be like maybe three manga a piece let's be real oh, no, speak for so, yourself no yeah 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 anyways um, I mean, a lot of short series. Come on, him and Reborn was rushed, man. Don't you fucking tell me it wasn't. Um, no, I know it was rushed. b is not perfect. My point is, a, lo- a lot of things that I like ended ro- ended well. But sorry, keep going, keep going. I didn't mean to. All right, all right. All right. Fair, fair enough. You want to defend it? That's Long running shown shown in? Fair enough, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But either way, uh, Sun Cam Rock, some of the, in my opinion, it's one of my favorite, if not the best, art style I've seen. I know a lot of people talk about Murata and stuff for One Punch Man and stuff, but yet, no. If if I were to commission who is the best best drawn manga with the most detail and shit like that, my preferred style is Kubo. But, I mean, like if I woke up in the morning, I mean, I would draw like Kubo, but uh, Boichi just got that shit. It works for that mafia, the the fucking panels are golden. Like this man knows how to draw. The art is perfect. It it's ten out of ten. It's always ten out of ten. And the the story is comedic, but it adds political. The difference between right and wrong, and fucking how diplomacy works, and how the mafia works, and how the, a country and a government works, and all that stuff. But you still get that little bit of that same feel. It's uh, honestly it. I really need a reread, honestly. I personally yeah. think I personally am not a fan of. I'm not. I don't hate Bochy or love Bochy. I think his artwork works for his stuff. I don't like when he draws it for other series like One Piece. I, I don't like it. It doesn't work for me at all. Um, I'm I actually think Ken is a burger. I don't really like him. However, Sun Ken Rock does actually have one of my favorite manga fights. It's when he's fighting that that dude in the army thing in that little. I think I think they were in like a built like an abandoned building. But I think his name was like I think he. I want to say he was. I don't remember the guy's name. Uh, but yeah, yeah. That fight is incredible. So yeah, that's one of my favorite 100%. fights in manga. But yeah, it's 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 got. I think this is the perfect example of a a manga meets that western like jawline look. So I feel it. Yeah. Um. What's your Michael Jordan on uh, lizard? Uh, it is actually another thing with 20th, 20th century boys. I, 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 you know, I said I like uh, 20th century boys has 21st century boys, and I know they're separate, but let's be real, they're the same manga. Just cut it, just you know, yeah, you're just like, cut yeah, it I'm, up. I'm, I'm like that too, like, bro, they're the same shit, bro. Come on, 
Uh, I would have put both, but I'm not trying to ruin my list. Make I'm not. I'm trying to make my list good, look better and look good. But yeah, 20th Century Boys. I like Urasawa. This is one of his best uh, psychological series. Um, I remember reading it and fuck with it. I like. I love the whole concept of the, of the friend and how, um, how something the 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 MC and his friends created in their childhood turns into this super sprawling cult like thing. And now he has to save how he has his journey and just look back to his past to save everybody in the future. And yeah, uh, I think uh, Urasawa just one of the best writers, maybe one of the one, probably obviously one of the best manga manga of all time, probably one of my favorites. And he hit it out the work with Twenty Century Boy. Absolutely, really good. I, I highly recommend it. I wanna I wanna collect it one day, honestly. But I, that, I, that I actually collected come. a lot of it. Yeah, I'm just broke. <laughs> Get your money up, I gotta prioritize. Wow. Oh, okay, I'll go ahead on Pat. Twenty Michael Jordan. Two, three, two, three. So number twenty three for me is Gameron. Shout out to Vince. I know he's been talking about it for years. I was like, I'm gonna read it one day, and then I joined his little group chat thingy, and I was reading it. And man, this series delivered. Honestly, uh, Shin was my favorite character. Uh, Iori's cool, but I, I just really fucked with Shin's vibe more. I liked his fighting style. He was more like flowing water type. I thought that was really dope. Uh, his little revenge thing in the very beginning, and he just like bifurcated that nigga. I was like, yeah, he's the one. <laughs> Any nigga that comes and takes vengeance like that, um, he he was he was swift and decisive. It was no fucking around. It was no, no. oh, you know, we might be even. No, you stink. Not on my level. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stink, stink. Shin, Gamma, Shin is that guy. I will give it to you. You're I, I my favorite, thing, but I'll give you Shin. I have this thing where I don't like brats, so I didn't like Gamma when he was younger. But when he got older, I was like, okay, I like him now. Um, but I feel like the story was remember? better when he was younger, and then like after he got older, the story kind of took a little bit of a dive. But it was still good. Mainly because of the the old nigga Kizaki Gensai, I'll never forget. He was so raw, raw. ass nigga, raw he, ass. He was man. so raw. Oh my god, the nigga said, "I can't stand it. Can't stand what? I can't stand the thought of niggas thinking they stronger than me." I'm like, bro. I felt I felt one. that in my soul. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> that shit was so raw. I honestly want to reread it again. Sometime soon, because I really. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna honestly. Hey, I'm, I'm hey, for Vince. Do, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it this fair chance. I never gave. I never gave it. Hey, well, y'all tell me when we do that. We can read it together. Everyone I'll read <laughs> but you read the second part or no? I've uh, read some of the second uh, part. Iori? It does slow. It does slow, but it's, it's been pretty good so far. Okay. E- Iori is the MC for that one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. My twenty-three, Michael Jordan, and somewhat fittingly, it is a sports manga. My very first one that made me fall in love with the genre. Tennis, no oji sama. Prince of Tennis, Mada Mada Dane. You still have Las Matu Eko. Nobody beats me in tennis. Um, yeah, this was a another a gateway manga that made me like really like sports ones. And after this, this is when I tried stuff like Slam Dunk, and I eventually got to stuff like Kuroko, Ice Shield, High Q, Dino Ace. Um, major one outs and stuff like that. Um, I honestly really do stand by the original Prince of Tennis, no matter what anime and manga. The anime does do a lot of detours and a lot of, has a lot of filler and stuff. But um, Fuji, one of my favorite characters, I love him. He's one of my favorite pers- like um, personifications of a genius in sports in a sports sense. He's really dope. Mm-hmm. He's got that piercing glare where like his eyes are always like closed, but when he opens them, it's like he's like his eyes are stabbing you. Like that. Yeah, Kaya yeah. versus um Kirihara um I'm sorry Kirihara versus Fuji was one of my fa- was I was I was anticipating for this like because they're my favorite characters and I actually got to see them have a match. Kaya didn't perform as like horribly or as well as I thought he would, but um honestly, Ryoma is like the like one of the one of the one of the greatest twelve year olds I've ever seen. The only reason I've always somewhat given him credit for all, a lot of the matches he wins, even though I don't think he should necessarily win them because because I just don't think he has a stature. It's because he his dad is the his dad's the goat and he loses to his dad literally every single day, so. Yeah, that that yeah. man is humbled every single fucking day. Mm-hmm. She be scared. I didn't know. I, I didn't know Akai was one of your favorite characters too. I didn't. He's also he's also my favorite character. I think Akaya was my Akaya 
um overtook Fuji for a little bit with them. I like I like that basically when he got pissed off and his eyes got bloodshot, he just hit because if he hits the ball at you and he don't return it, it's still a point. And he just started doing they just hit him in his knee. I'm like, nah, this nigga's cold. <laughs> He's him. Yeah, he na- he he was nasty. I was like, I didn't even know you could do that. Today. They, ruined him, really they ruined him. They ruined him in um and even to tennis about angel mode and his eyes was glistening like no where the, where the evil at i don't like i don't like yeah, it, but... it made, yeah, uh, new, new, new prince of tennis which is everything just <laughs> yeah this, it, it was, is very unserious it had yeah. potential then it got bad yeah i i, I knew what we was what once i seen the oni guy i forgot his name he was, he, he was the guy with the red hair who was like with the gatekeeper but he's one yeah, of the best of japan top oni, three yeah. when you had his fucking um racket with two strings one horizontally one vertically, I'm like, all right, what are we doing? Well, black jack knife. Yeah. All right, man. What are we doing? Yeah, he was, he was wild. Then they yeah. playing tennis on horseback. I'm like, oh, yo, what the oh, fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> My yeah, 22 is Mackie, the Labyrinth of Magic. I've spoken about this a lot of times. You guys know much, how much respect I have for this series. Shout out to Shinobu. I think the Jin, Magoi, um, Rooks, and uh, I think it was called Key, but with a Q system is really good. I think the final flashback before kind of it ends with um is it Alma Toran, I believe it's called. That's amazing. Yeah. Sinbad is one of the greatest characters that I've ever seen in a manga anime. Like this is his show. Fuck Aladdin. This is his shit. Fuck Alibaba. This is yeah. this is this is, this is Sinbad Aladdin. fucking series. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? When they showed that the man was half fallen, he had the he had the the black roots and the white one. Nah, he's different. He's him. Seven metal vessels. He has his own spin-off. Imagine the Sinbad. Yo, who, who fucking wanted this man? But I'll, I'll just keep it brief here. The main reason I was so interested in it and it delivered was because I'm like, I want to see what a Japanese take on the, the uh, Arabian Night story was. And I think they delivered. I, I wanted to see how they would kind of spin it in their own way. I thought they did a really good job at it. Sinbad. It's, it's the same reason why I was interested in Aku no Hana. The flowers, the evil, les fleurs du mal. I want, so, yeah. Um, Pat. Mm-hmm. 22. Number 22 is Roroni Kenshin. Yeah. Roroni Kenshin is Two socks for one swords, of man. the no, best no, no. swordsman series ever created. The art in this series, like the presentation of these sword fights, is truly one of a kind. You can see every detail of the stats, the beginning, middle, end of a sword fight in Kenshin. I've read a lot of Swordsman si- ship series. They don't really present the shit that they do in Kenshin like they do in their series. It's It's got some sort of magic quality to it. It's hard to explain. But I, I'm not really keen on like romance, but I thought this was like romance done right in my opinion, I guess, with the backstory with Kenshin uh, when he killed a... a um, the name. Say her husband or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 don't remember, I don't remember. I don't her name. I don't know why. Yeah, it's, it's, it's series is really really good. It's got a lot of good characters, great antagonists. Oh my gosh, Makoto Shisho. Oh. The flesh of the, the weak flesh is of the weak is food for the strong. Yup, there we go. All right, live in the weak. Kill evil quickly. <laughs> the other guy, I like it too. Um, yeah, Saito. He's such a dog. Kill all evil. Ah, so such a dog. Oh, he's a wolf. Remember that, Pat. He's a wolf. You are correct. He is the wolf of Mibu. Space killed I. Yes, sir. Space brothers. This is a. This is a uh, story about two brothers who want to become. Who made a? Who basically want to become astronauts and it goes into the thing and the um main character uh, has failed at his dream he he was like, he failed to become a, a astronaut while his brother his younger brother actually became an astronaut and is a uh, has actually selected to go to the moon and is uh, and then the uh, main the main character seeing that his brother he just decides to once again go go over his dream and try to become an astronaut and this is one of the best journeys i've ever read in the manga the journey from him becoming almost like giving up on his dream and trying to live like, you know, like the whole failed dream thing and trying to go back and trying to um, actually become an astronaut. And it's just one of the most best, most rewarding journeys I've seen. See him actually train to become an astronaut, do everything he needs to become an astronaut, that when he actually becomes an astronaut, it really hits hard. 
um his brother also has his own journeys but his journey is more like uh trying to overcome the psychological tra- trauma he suffered at, uh, through because of his journey because his first time uh, on us on the space station on the moon and yeah as both brothers also i, I don't know if the, you guys know this one a little thing i love, I love just space the concept of space so this obviously was going to help me from the beginning but yeah, if you want to just, if you want a great journey and a rewarding and a satisfying journey of a character who goes from somebody who had to give up on his dream to deciding to say, fuck that, man, I'm not going to give up give on my dream. I'm going to go there and do, uh, I'm going to try again. He tries and he works up and then, yeah, he ends up achieving what he does in a rewarding and satisfying way. Yeah. Simi said, old boy from my country world days been trying to get me to read this since like 2013 i've i read a bit of it but i forgot what i read it's, like, it's, about, the, it's about the end actually soon but yeah it's ongoing yeah it's like uh the last volume type of shit vince right all right 22 for me vagabond i've kept mm. this off of my top manga for a very long time for obvious reasons but i looked at it again over the pandemic and i just I could not fight that. I still very much love this manga. It just you that it ain't been fight it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I very much love this manga, but obviously it's an eight point five because it ain't ended. It's over. Exactly. It's not done. So I can't put it no. So I can't it's put it no done. higher than this. I it's can't done. give some. I you can't give don't something finish nine shit. or ten. Yeah, I can't give something to nine uh, or hold, ten. Hold on, hold on a second. He did finish slammed up. But yeah, but it, hey. yeah, I can't I can't get something to nine or ten that's like not gonna finish. Fuck that nigga. But uh, this is this is very good. I think it has some of the best characterization for the characters. It does have that very big cast? Some of the best fights I've ever seen. Very interesting flow of the philosophy and stuff like that. I just think it's very well done and all matter of fact. But once again, I can't go no higher than this because it will never finish. That bald monk nigga with the staff. I'll never forget him. I might not remember his name, but I'll never forget him. <laughs> oh yeah, he was mad. Was mad but... This anime, this manga is completed, by the way. And don't nobody can say anything. No, yeah, I, this is shut up, bro. Nah, nah, he's mad. He's mad. He's mad. He comes back to drop a redrop of a slam dunk volume. Like, he did not care about this series. Like, All he did was draw. Yeah, best manga is yeah, real, anyways. Really <laughs> we lied. Real chill basketball is in. Agreeva, uh, you're up to bat twice. So twenty two, fairy tale. Yeah. Hey, fairy, are you where you uh, going? Even you though I think Rave uh, had better consequences, and I hold to that because nobody fucking dies in fairy tale. Um, I will say that fairy tale overall, I just it's just. I think because it went on longer, or something I don't know, but the the characters, the cast is beloved. I mean, you love the villains, you love the main cast, you love the multitude of characters. And once again, it's very difficult. I feel like it's very difficult for a mangaka. Um, like, that's why I always uh, have a problem with things like My Hero Academia and Black Clover and things like that. It's like, you introduce, like, too many characters all at once and, like, they won't all get their time to shine and they'll fall into the background. You know, there'll be a Yamcha, a Tiana Krillin, or something else, like, later on, like, when you go far enough. So it's a bad uh, structure to have too much of that. Fairy tale doesn't really seem to do that. They seem to give everyone their moments to shine. We have so many unique personalities. I mean, Loxus is great. Gildarts is great. Uh, Kana's great. Natsu, Grey, uh, Lucy. Ev- everyone has their moment to shine real- realistically. Um and yes, of course, it gets ridiculous because it's Mashima, but overall, I still, I enjoy the anime and the manga, and th- that art is fire. That art style, Mashima art style is... Even the lead thoughts, it can never be less yeah. than a 5 out of 10 for me. If, as out. long as you like it, that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, yes. like, I know it's junk food entertainment. I, I really don't have any heat with fairy tale. I'm not saying it's good. I just don't have any beef with it. I just don't have any beef with it. You know what those ones like? I just don't like. I just don't care. Like fairy tale no, hey, is what it's it bad is. Bad bitches. Shout out the spin uh, things we get from this series, man. The fan man. creation. And there it is. It's got good fights too. Uh, twenty one. Uh, twenty one. You stupid. Is, uh, 
which would be higher on my anime list because I think the anime is better, but mm-hmm. uh, it's Inuyasha. Okay. So, I mean, first and foremost, it was one of my first romance, like, and once again, as Naya knows, I grew up with, you know, watching soap operas with my grandmother and my mother a lot stuff so i was always like where's the romance like when i would watch a cartoon i was like well the boy the main boy and girl have to be in love right like where the fuck is the romance i'm used to this shit where's the fucking romance and uh inyasha had it for me but it also had the crafts and stuff like that it just it worked on a lot of levels because it had the battle it had the comedy it had the honestly Rumiko Takarashi, like I then was watching Rama Half at the same time as Inuyasha was coming out. And between the two, I understand why people say Rama Half is the better one, but uh, Rama One Half, sorry. But I, I think Inuyasha is basically the pinnacle of a romantic fairy tale. 100%. It just, something about it, man. It just, everything about the characters, the power, like the power system never feels. There's never power scaling in Inuyasha. Something I, I fucking say, there's a power system. Right, they, they, they do, but it's never talked about because it's such a soft power system that nobody cares. Powers, power scalers stay away from this beloved 600 chapter series. And I thank Christ every day, who I don't even believe in, that they stay away from this fucking beautiful manga and just go away. Can they be Goku though? I mean, yeah, Mado Sangatsuha can do that, but wrong necessarily. Uh, He might just instant transmission his way out of there. (laughs) If he gets hit with it, he's done. Oh, yeah, power scaling. Mm, no. (laughs) No. (laughs) I think this is Rumiko Takahashi's worst series, but Shishomaru is in it, so it's, it's he's that nigga. He's the goat. Um, ooh, en français. Go ahead, Vince. Speak about it. All right, so what are we on? We're on 21. 21. You um, stupid. Yeah. 21 <laughs> is Radiant. And I remember this because I'm not going to lie, this completely shocked me. I had no idea that I was going to like this story this much because everybody on the TL said it sucked, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Nah, that shit is really, really good. It's one of the best fantasy manga I've ever read, especially since that's really hard to do in manga usually. And just in the Japanese Japanese medium, they it's not seem to be the kind of their thing. But um, Radiant, it, well, technically it's made by a French guy. But Radiant's just really good. I think it does some of the stereotypical things there, but I think the characters react in a way more realistic way. I think the relationships have more nuance to them, more ups and downs. And I just kind of recommend everybody to read that. I think it's if you like kind of shonen style stuff, it'll be in your alley, but it's a little bit more with the character work than a lot of stuff. And I just think it's really, really good. It's a lot better than you actually will think it is a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, I have to really, really like give it a like really dive into it. I think you'll like it. You might not like it. No, I, I liked what I was reading. Like and I was reading it in French. Yeah. It's just, I just. It wasn't ah, like, yeah. oh, I don't like it. I'm stopping. Or just like, one of the only just kind of fall off. It just was like, yeah, you're off. just doing other shit. Yeah. yeah. We'll be having that. Lizard. Uh, mine love is War? A, yes. Love is War. Kage Sama Love is War. Uh, pro- my favorite rom com. It's a really well done rom com. Which is, I like the, the concept is funny as fuck. The main two characters, though they love each other, but they want the other to confess because the, their pride is too high. Uh, I think the um, mangaka was able to do interesting. Just he's evolving from doing that, where a lot, a lot of the beginning parts mm-hmm. is him constantly trying to have battles to see who can uh, win and try to make the other confess, and then it changes and uh, how that changes when they confess to each other and how the relationship changes and like um, how he's able to change, like uh, change, like not really make it seem like oh we missed the part where they were competing with each other. The cast is funny and amazing as fuck. I like uh, Ishigami is a really good uh, those downer kind of characters. Are really well done. Chika Fuji Chika, really dumbass, but I love her. The cast is really well done. Shout out I Ayasaka. She moved me. Is it done yet? And yeah, 
Oh yeah, it's finished. It's been finished. It's been How many chapters? Uh, it's two eighty one, two hundred eighty one chapters. Oh, no thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's my biggest <laughs> problem. That's my biggest problem with this story. I I think it's pretty good as well. I feel but like concepts yeah, like these are not made to last that long. Yeah, it's not, it's just not going to keep my yeah, attention. That's my that's my issue. It's like Nisei Ko. I liked it for a while. I was like, y'all still going? Shut up. It's, it's, <laughs> problem. It's, it's the webtoon. It's the webtoon problem for me. Yeah, with a lot of these sites of life and stuff like that. It's like at some point you kind of dragging your feet. Which kind see, of I feel the it's same kinda... way about Detective Conan. I'm like, bro, figure this shit out already. See, that's, <laughs> that's like that's 12 other chapters in. Stop. But I think this is, does well because they, they, you know, they go from not couple to couple. So the whole dynamic change makes it interesting and like, you know. I like but what yeah. I read. Also, though, I know so. it was playing off the other characters too. It's not just on them. It's kind of like. Some other thing, but I just it. I think it's really hard for kind of romantic comedies to go past. What did I say? Uh, it's like once you get past like 120 to 150 kind of range, it's uh, kind of yeah. going long for me. For just uh, I for, think... but but yeah, I need to read it again. I have to look at it. Again. I just got. I I got tired. I'm not gonna like. I fatigue read that. I was like, I'm tired of this. Mm. I'm tired yeah. of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. That's too damn bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, yeah, Pat. <laughs> Number 21. My ex always says right, that we, shit. I'm tired of this crap when I was going. That's too damn bad. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, Bleach. But he has 24 G- on it. I'm crying. <laughs> Broke it up! <laughs> oh. I'm done. <laughs> Why did you have her on the damn screen if you're going to do all that? <laughs> because look at this. Oh, look, look, look at the no, 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 you're right. This is a rise pick. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Imminent, the, imminent guy. Go ahead. Go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. crying because it's 21, but he got 24 on it. Hey, I can't help the fact that it was volume 24. He got the Kobe number, but it's Tim Duncan in the ranking. Oh, crazy. shit. Shot Timmy. No, nah, that's all I got to say. Rukia. I, I oh, already spoke okay. about it on anime. Yeah, we are on the anime. Yeah, I spoke about it too. Kind of so. Yeah, Biakia is the best character. Hey, Not Rukia? So... No, Rukia is second best. Wow. She's the best female character. In They're brother heart. and sister, right? Yeah, yeah they wow. are. Okay, then. No, no, like, yes, yeah. but kind of no, but yes. <laughs> Not kind of. They are. They are legally. By, legally by marriage. Yeah. He's but no. But yes. His sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, either way. Yeah. Mine is for twenty one. Oni Oni Master Kurosawa. Oh, Hey, read that, man. What did I say? <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a crazy picture. Why did you use that? <laughs> because I'm a, because I need to get the point across. <laughs> This is oh, this this master Kurosawa. Okay, I it is absolutely incredible. Ah. It is amazing. It, Great story. It, 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 it is really literally weird. called Masturbation Master Kurosawa. Dude, see the English name, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> I got to do it. I've already spoken about these for, this for like the last three years because it's always been on my manga list. So it's not like it's my first time talking about it. But um, it's 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 just kind of like Chikano Toko where it completely misleads you with the title and how things start off and it has a complete paradigm shift in it and it actually ends up becoming a really endearing story with romance and um, acceptance and moving on from mistakes and things of that nature. To make a long story short, he gets caught what he's doing. He gets to go into the... Uh, it's, if I'm correct, he gets to go in the woman's bathroom. Basically, imagine somebody and then beat his dick to it and he got fucking caught. Yeah. And then she had him like basically enacting justice like i don't like this bitch come in her flute <laughs> it's actually crazy but it completely turns around on his head and it's really good i highly recommend it it's the most un- wait, wait a minute. Heard. you mean you're not supposed to come in women's food yeah no no wait, i don't think you're gonna... supposed to do that Reaver, what the <laughs> hell man it's time for him to go to bed it is not we I do mean, not after sour cream i mean no, I, I didn't no, know what that sir. meant no sir that's the white Canadian. Never again. Oh. You're on. You're on a public forum. Somebody <laughs> just clip this right now and get you out of here. Lucky, ugly, I'm not important enough. Twenty. My real name. Twenty. Tas, uh, Gare Otome X Amnesia. Um, the the running theme you're gonna see with mine is I have a lot of romance series, whether they're etchy, um, they're usually etchy. Listen, if they're romance and they're not fucking, get it the fuck away from me. Talk about some, mm-hmm. okay. and you blush and you run away. Keep that shit far from me. With a ten foot, hundred thousand pole, goddamn power pole. I don't want to see that shit. 
but they they're, they fucking I'm in there. Anyways, this is a tragic story about a ghost that passed away, and a, and a student and a ghost that basically, basically fall in love, and then they're like, it's like a really a really endearing love story related to that. I'm not gonna say anything more, but I think it's not a long read. It's really good. Yiddies, ghosts. I'm trying to fuck a ghost. All right, Pat. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn again? Yes, sir. All right. So, coming to you next week. Um, yeah, I already spoke about how much of an impression. Uh, Four finger piccolo, just how I like it. Oh, wait. Yours, wait. Dragon Ball is 20 for you? Wow. We did go to me. Dragon Ball Ball is also 20 for me. (laughs) So, there we go. We win it today. Yeah, I think that's the first time that ever happened. It's the exact same ranking. So yes, I like I like the anime and the manga for different things. Uh, I think Toriyama yeah, I'll say this. I, I, I'll have to anime. Oh, go ahead. Is one of the best ever. Well, he's one of, if not the best ever, when it comes to paneling yeah. his fights. I, I have to and say, if, people people so are really people are really stupid, man. Like like yes, please, yes like are. y'all really just don't y'all really just don't read Dragon Ball. Like just go read Dragon Ball and then read Dragon Ball Z. Like people keep acting like it's some nostalgia thing to act like this series is good. It's not. This series it's is really legitimately fucking like really fucking it, good. It, 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 it's it's insane. It lasted for almost forty years because it's good. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not a. This is not a. Oh, you know, we thought it was good. Like no, this is legitimately good. It was good the entire time. People pretend. You know, you know what? People, those people, people, pretend people will come like to me like the Macy's Day oh, Parade. Doesn't have a Goku floating it for a reason or some shit. Like that's how much of an impression Dragon Ball has made on the West. Like Pokemon, I don't see fucking any other. I don't see any of your other manga characters, Japanese manga characters, in the Macy's Day fucking parade. The fuck is a Macy's Day parade? We know that that shit's the shit. And you got a Pikachu float, and you got a Goku float. Hell of a ma- oh, I don't even, I don't even, shout out to Dragon Ball, Secure Toriyama, um, um, Action says, Elite. A, a lot of people will talk down on it when you ask them if they've ever read it, and they'll tell you no. And that just yeah. tells me everything I need to know right then and there. Mm. It's a really fun series. It starts off a little slow, but once it gets rolling, oh my god, it doesn't stop for like 200 chapters. I don't think Dragon Ball is slow, honestly. That's just me, though. In the very beginning, like with I really don't. Shit. I love Kid Goku. He was entertaining the fuck out of me. <laughs> no, I I like Kid Goku, but I'm just saying, like what they were doing, like searching for the Dragon Balls and stuff. Initially, I wasn't too fond of it, but then once the first tournament came around and stuff like that, from that point on, I'm in. I'm locked in. Well, yeah, fair enough, I guess. Nothing worse than yeah. Normal. It's it's, it, it's different style of comedy. You know, it's very of his time. As far as the comedy could be out there, a lot of body part, uh, you know, humor and stuff like that. But, you know, it's different, but I didn't mind it. But, yeah, it's not for everybody. But, yeah, when the fighting starts, for sure. Griever, you're next. Okay, so for my 20, I'm going Suzuka from Seo Koji. Um, honestly, I could have picked a lot of Seo Koji works. Uh, he started to piss me off with Fuka too much um like you gave me my happy ending in suzuka back in like 2004 and now all of a sudden you're gonna make heartbroken fucking divorce ridden parents by 2015 i'm not a happy camper so fuck it but at the time suzuka was my poor 15 year old self i just wanted to be in a romance manga you know like i was in junior high you know didn't you know was awkward, didn't know how to talk to girls, that kind of shit, not good at sports. Like the classic shonen thing or, or the shoujo thing, right? So it it was an escape sort of thing for me and it had the sport element, the track and field and stuff, and I was always a good runner. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I, you know, so, so it inspired me to be a little more confident and stuff like that. It was a really good romance series yes of course it takes itself too seriously like so many others do but i just really loved it and it's always stayed as a staple of my mind and when i was trying to draw better when i was trying to increase my artistic skills um it's one of the ones that i did that way to learn how to panel and do 
drawings better, I would always do the whole uh, thin paper over a lot of panels of Seo Koji's work to try to learn how to do his art style and stuff like that. So I really like the art style. And, yeah. This is one of my friend's favorite series. He likes this a lot too. Um, it's good. Lizard, it's good. You're, up to, you're up to bad toys. Uh, yeah, my 20 is Blue Period. I said I love manga with blue in it, and uh, I do. A blue period is just a story about a del- almost like a delinquent. He's a delinquent, but he actually gets really good grades. It's just like he's he's smart, but it's just it's like he's just smart and like he studies well. It's not like he's really passionate about it. But then he then he takes a, he's forced to take an art class, and he really like, he falls in love with the concept of art, and it's just his him trying to do everything to become an artist. Uh, the first part of the series is trying to get into art school. And now in the second part, which is a, him at in art university, um, I just love series. Like I talked about the Blue Jab, but series where the among uh, the the um, main character finds his passion, this intense passion he has, and he decides to go for it regardless of consequences or regardless of what other people might think. Because you know, being an artist is hard. Getting okay. to art school is insanely hard. And he just decides to do it. Um, there's also like some small things I like. I like the fact that the in this series, which is it's something small, which I don't that most people wouldn't really care about. Is it uh, it, one of the beginning things is uh, MC getting drunk with his friends in high school, which is more like you know, um, you know, I'm tired of people acting like that doesn't happen e- even in uh, Japanese high schools. I know uh, standard in standard uh, high school shit they show the MCs super respectable super nice and nothing he never does anything really that bad but you have the sake pack she uh, yeah i'm sorry i was coughing uh but yeah it's really well uh written and uh it really hits hard how he goes for his dream okay 19. uh sorry about that uh my 19 is uh Zom what is a manga too okay i did not know that yeah, it's actually yeah, it was a manga. Um, what's, what's that new nigga shit? Listen, man, it's twenty. It came out twenty eighteen. Yeah, new nigga shit. What the fuck? What? 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 <laughs> it, my, like that was a long time ago. Listen, man. If it's manga's good, it's good. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I, okay. Go on. Describe your new nigga shit. Go ahead. Basically, Zom one hundred is a uh, is a story about the, uh, the MC. He is. Akira, he he go, he works at a black company, so exploited it. Like he works at a super exploitative company, to the point where he's basically like a zombie. <laughs> like to rate of his thing, he's basically like a zombie. So when an actual he's zombie apocalypse zombie. occurs, uh, when an actual zombie apocalypse uh, occurs, instead of being sad or like you're worrying, he's happy because he's he's out of his dead like dead end job, job. where he's suffering, mm-hmm. and he decides. If I'm gonna become a zombie, I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do 100 things on my list. But before I become a zombie, uh, I think the my favorite part of this series is how how this is one of the this is a this manga is the definition of a fun to me. I just never have a bad time reading this. I'm always having fun reading this. In terms of like the main character Kira, he is always smiling. He always like yo, I can be sad, but my life before a zombie before the zombie complex, I was working in the worst shop possible. I mean the worst shop possible. Like the first day he goes there, he he you know they they work they go to the party, uh they go to some home call, like the, you know welcome party and instead of going home after that they go back to the studio uh, to the uh, company to work again. They're like goddamn this is life I'm living. Uh I think the characters are really well done written. I think this is a fun but well written series. Uh like the writing is kind of it it it's kind of like I don't want to say hidden but like you have to really. It it has depth, but it's it doesn't seem like it. It's like hidden beneath it. Um, volume the art is amazing because there's two different guys do did this. Uh, funny enough, the <laughs> the manga guy that did this also did Alice in Borderland. Um, but yeah, Zom One Hundred. If you want to really, if you want a fun good time, read Zom One Hundred. It's all all, all fifty episodes, chapters are good thing. I'm actually glad we started this stream a little late because I actually caught up to Zom One Hundred just before this so I could change it up and down but yeah wow (laughs) as long as you like it Lizard okay it's never getting read never getting watched number 19 is Vagabond and it dropped the most of all the shit on my list because 
he's not touching it. Like, I keep waiting, I keep waiting, he's just not touching it. But when I read it, it's probably like... Inoue is a bomb. It's completed. Visually, visually it's... Shut up. It, visually, it's the best drawn series I think I've ever seen. The attention to detail is absolutely astounding. And I, I love the retelling of the um, Sasaki Kojiro and Miyako, Miyamoto Musashi. But he's not finishing it. So, like, it's going to keep dropping. I, I don't yep. Know. It'll never finish, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. A shame. But it is what it is. See, when I'm there, we getting along. I'm not there infighting. Where's the positivity? I'm tired. <laughs> The positivity, uh, cause he's showing new niggas shit. Man, you gotta give it. You, you, yeah, my fan. What are you talking about? I just got new niggas shit. <laughs> oh, come on, don't do that. Ah. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> he, he got you with the counterpoint. You gotta, you gotta concede. Yeah. No, look. First of all, <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing about yeah. it. Yeah. Anything that's special to him. Yeah, I like uh, Yago for a very specific reason. Y'all know that. I'm, su- I'm surprised Zoom is that high for you, though, Lizard. But yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Zom- you put it over fucking Villain Saga. I mean, uh, I enjoyed Zombie Dirty War. What can I say? No, okay. I just never heard you talk about it. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, exactly. I it, I no, he, nah, he, he be posting the anime shit. I never know there's a lot. Okay, I, I, I watched the first couple episodes of anime. I enjoy it. I just never expected it to be that hot. I talk about it. It's it cool. just it comes out a volume, like volume wise. Have to wait, right? Oh, okay, okay. What at all? But yeah, my number nineteen is Oretama, which translates to "my balls." So I'm gonna give you the synopsis. All right, you know, demons, angels, they fighting. You know what I'm saying? You a funny, you a funny nigga for this. Man, I love this fucking manga. So the um, so <laughs> I believe it's Lucifer. Lucifer is fighting an angel. I can't remember who it was or something like that. Long story short, the main character is kind of a, you know, he's a shut-in for the most part. He's just a chronic masturbator. And he goes to pee. And he doesn't know in the forest that, like, those demons are fighting. And basically, Lucifer is getting sealed. And one thing leads to another. And the demon literally gets sealed in his nutsack. If he comes, the world ends. (laughs) It's over. The world gets destroyed. Well, I say this didn't suck you by a demon at him. All kind. Then the girl that he likes at his work is trying to hit on him, and he's like, "Fuck!" Like I am not a lot the nut. So just a hard time for him. But it's actually a lot more endearing than it than it, than, than it seems. It seems very uh, horse and everything, but it's it's actually pretty good. All things seems like a lot thing. of things. You know, it's so, like yeah. if I had a nickel for every time Naya did a <laughs> some manga series about masturbating, I have two nickels. <laughs> Hello, see <laughs> the two nickels. <laughs> Got um, everyone did nineteen, right? So I'm gonna do eighteen. Wait, did I? Uh, I don't even remember. I think. I th- wait. No, no you I didn't. You know, you did. I did one. Yeah, go ahead. I did one. Okay, smile so down. What the hell? S- smile right. down. So nineteen <laughs> for me. Is smile down, down the runway. Smile down the runway. I just read this. I want to say like two years ago. And honestly, it, it when I first finished it, I was even more gassed than it was. I had to get. I had to come down from the high a little bit because I gave it a nine out of ten. First, I had to come down a little bit. But uh, I just think this is very endearing. I think it's a thing of two people finding their passion for what they want to do. The main uh, heroine wants to be in the fashion industry, be a model, and her her friend enjoys the way. And eventually, the person she ends up being a romance with, he makes clothes. And I think it's just a very beautiful story with their journey. There's not a ton of like extra characters or a lot of things going on, but I think the main focus of those two and just their relationship and the things they go through to achieve their dreams is just really beautiful and really good. And I think the art's beautiful and it does a really emotional moment as well. And it's just a really good slice of life slash romance slash something about the fashion industry and model industry. So I think it's really good. And I recommend if you're into that type of stuff. But if not, then obviously don't look at it. But yeah. You also skipped my 19, but it's one that was already brought up. It's The Breaker. Anything you want to say yeah. about it? Uh, yeah, it's a great fucking manga. Breaker into Breaker New Waves is fantastic. I will admit that having it switched to a third point, and I won't spoil, uh, but switching it into a webtoon from a manga was very jarring because I'm not a 
super big fan of, especially for action manga. I think the webtoon format falls flat. Colorization and the top to down does not hold a candle to black and white manga left to right. But it uh, continuing the story wise, doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job character wise and story wise. Um. I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with keeping up with Breaker 3. Um so if you're if you're a meathead and you just want to watch awesome supernatural martial arts go at it like key based system go go for it man. It's a, it's a great series. Okay. Uh, do your 18 one time I guess. Oh. Uh you want 18, 18 actually. Yeah. I'm sorry guys. I'm so tired. Yeah, we're yes, on 18 yeah. now. Okay. We're on 18 now. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Or Dude, Dragon Ball uh, as a general. Just yeah, the manga. The whole... Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon Ball. Uh, it's already been said, but I mean, you know. Dragon Ball is that, like, Pat's already said it. Like, everybody's already said it. I mean, it's it's Dragon Ball, man. I mean, how can you not have this on your list? It's the GOAT. It is literally the GOAT. Of all shonen battles, it'll always be the grandfather, the godfather, whatever you want to call it, of shonen battle manga. And, I and mean, isn't, Vegeta okay. is literally one of the best. It's Kaneko Man, but it's okay. You don't. Uh, well, Kaneko Man is up to yeah. Let's we can talk about Kaneko Man, but um, it it's literally stood the test of time. I just feel like saying it revolutionized anime and stuff in the West and brought it brought it here is 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 the right way of phrasing it instead of calling it the grandfather of Shona. I just think that's so effing wrong, like quite literally historically in terms of the tropes and stuff okay. that it has. It did not start them. Okay. That's, that's, that's my only point. That it, is, it is the Western, it is the, that Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon is the reason the West knows what anime and manga is. Don't worry, Simi, I'm here. <laughs> Look, Simi, hmm, sipping his tea. <laughs> so, Don't worry, I'm here. I'm the I'm the manga yeah. historian. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, no, I I I'm I'm not disagreeing with you, Naya. I do agree. Well, oh yeah, I um, you. that yeah yeah that in in Japan, but what Dragon Ball did was globalize it. And it was yeah. special. It, it did deviate from a lot of the things that was happening in the eighties, which was more hyper masculinity. So it's not. I'm like. I'm not. I'm not trying to discredit it in any in any capacity. No, so. no, no. I, and but I I do get you. Is that maybe sometimes it gets more praise for it's his. And as you're right, it just, like, it's just it's one of those high. things that people just kind of say and they don't really like research it. I just know better because I, you know. So yeah, it no, does. I agree. And Kanika Man was there. Sailor Moon was there. We actually had many. Uh, Akira was there. We had a lot of anime over here. They weren't well known, but they were here uh, long before Dragon Ball. But I think Dragon Ball and Pokemon and Sailor Moon, these are the things that left their mark and made them global phenomenons outside of, you know, mm -hmm. just being there. Like Vision of Escaflunda was here at the same time I was watching Dragon Ball. Nobody talks about that shit. You know what I mean? So, or Monster Rancher or a lot of these series, you know? Yeah. So, but either way, I still attribute it to every kid in the West, at the very least. We'll say the West. You know, Vegeta is still one of the fan loved characters of all time, probably one of the greatest anti heroes or anti whatever you want to call his archetype. He is one of the greatest written and, you know, and Freeze is the I think, he's, I, think he's I think he's Toriyama's best written character. Yeah. Um, Vegeta? I, I, yeah, yeah. I think Piccolo I has the case. I'm not mad at Piccolo. If someone says Piccolo. Uh, got a good case. Vegeta's uh, got a good case. It's, Gohan, it's for a long Piccolo time. and Gohan. Yeah, Gohan yeah. had a good case, but yeah. But Vegeta Either has way, a good Dragon character. Ball. Shout out, uh, yeah. You're Shout up next, Lizard. My 18 is Tetsugaku Letra. I've actually never this... heard of this at all. Yeah, it was actually yeah. Um, this is. Yeah, it was on my other list, but yeah, this is a um, you know, use the infamous word, a coming of age story. Uh, only twenty seven chapters about a a boy who basically go goes through some shit, and he's told by his people that he considers his friends to, you know, you know, to like you know, to, they they say it's really bad shit behind his back, and he's like forced to thing. Uh, then he meets this girl who also he, like he wants to just give up, uh, give everything up. But he meets this girl 
and it just got decided to stop padding. <laughs> nah, this is not stop padding because it's actually good. Uh, this is easy. <laughs> uh, so he like just uh, they switch thing. So he gives her his basketball shoes, and she gives him her uh, flamenco or dancing shoes. And he, uh, this is a story about him trying to learn how to, uh, learn, uh, learn how to grow, um, uh, grow and like to, to find a passion, something because he's always really hit it, uh, inclusive into himself because of the incidents he had in his past with, a, from, because of his soul called friends. So he decides to get into Spanish dancing or flamenco. Uh, it's really well written. Uh, it's only 27 chapters. The art is beautiful. Art, art was actually done by Isomeko Yumeka, which is like, she's done, I mean, one of my favorite artists, she's done, uh, what's this one called? Like, this more, probably the most popular one is Our Happy Time. Is it that one? Um, uh, this is some really famous one she did that I think a lot of people would know her from. 27 chapters, uh, art is well done, the uh, character is well done, that he has two friends are also, they also have their own issues that, like one of his friends goes through extreme eating disorders because of his looks and they tackle that issue but yeah 27 chapters really well written sure all right it's not long though so well, maybe one day um i think you're next pat right yeah is it my turn yep oh yeah talk about okay. it but number 18 yeah. rose it's one of the very new additions to the list yeah I yeah, such a soft spot for delinquent series. Finally, some real manga. This shit right here, man. I was having such a blast just reading niggas go, huh? Oh, ora, kora, ora, all fucking day. But the reason I like delinquent type series is because a lot of these youth are just misunderstood. They come from bad homes or they're not particularly good at school. So they have no other choice but to act out for any semblance of attention because they're not getting it. And really, at their core, a lot of them are not bad people. In fact, a lot of them have hearts of gold. You see the camaraderie that they have after they just throw some fisty cuss with each other for a little bit. They start becoming friends. They form bonds. They navigate through life together. They grow up. And it's like a lot of the things that they touch upon in Crows, I think is really, really well done subtly. Like finding a way in life after high school, you know, or seeing what happens when delinquents take one step too far in the wrong direction and they fall down the wrong path in life. It's just so good. And it, Crows is funny as shit. Like, boy, no. he has to be crying, man. So he'd be like, let me have it. No. That's my favorite M manga no. MC lead for a reason. Let me have it. No. Let me have it. Okay. <laughs> can I borrow your bike? No. Can I borrow your bike? No. Fucking cry touches in the neck. Yes, you can have it. <laughs> okay, he's a bully. He's a goat, bro. I love this nigga so much. Yeah, it has some of the best fights I've ever read, too. Woo, my God. I was getting off. Oh. Rinda. Um, 18 for you, um, Vince. 18, World Trigger. Um, this is just unique from the standpoint that one, this is one of the most competent organizations that you'll ever see in any type of manga. We're not used to organizations being competent. It's a very competent organization. And all three main characters get shine. The first two start off kind of slow. First is kind of the Kuma Yuga show, Yuma show, for a while, but they both eventually get some time. They pick it up after a while. Uh, and just, like, I love that everybody in War Trigger, the side characters, just all competent and they all get to play a very important part and none of them just stink. Because a lot of times you have side characters and they're not very well utilized, stuff like that, and all of these guys are really good. And I think that is worth Everything is this for, and then obviously they fixed the anime because the anime was not doing, and then the the, uh, the writer got sick, and all sorts of stuff happened. But the, the new season of the anime are really good, and just yeah, I just think it's one of those things you should read. Really, really good, good stuff. 
Reverend. Uh, is Full Metal Alchemist. Now, like, once again, this is something like, in my opinion, Whoa. Death Note and Inuyasha is better as an anime, right? Mm-hmm. But, and there's an argument for both, but Full Metal Alchemist is one of those that I would argue is almost a completely perfect story. It doesn't go too long. This is the biggest problem with so many shonen mangas is that the author wants to end it and then the editors are like, but it's super popular. You got to continue the story. No, it doesn't happen with Death Note and it doesn't happen with Full Metal. It's like, no, this is the end of the story. It's a complete Page one to page 100, it's done. And it happened so well. The emotional highs are fantastic. Uh, it's just, I, I can't praise it enough. The power system is so unique, but also never, there's never an issue. You know, I, 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 I can explain away. So many people have come at me whenever I say this is a perfect manga or a perfect story or whatever. They come at me with, well, there's a plot hole. No, there's not. I can beat that. There's like there's a power system problem. No, there's not. I can beat that. I can beat every. I have beaten every allegation over twenty fucking years on the internet. Beating Full Metal Alchemist, saying that even if you don't think because it's just not your cup of tea that it's not ten out of ten. There's literally no plot continuity problems. There's no errors. It's literally written to a degree that you could argue if if you don't if you want to say it's not perfect, that's fine. But it's got no flaws at the very least. That's an interesting take. I don't remember it well enough to be to say yours. I don't, I don't like hate or love Full Metal Alchemist, so I, I, I like it's good. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, what are we at? Uh, I think we're on 17. Everyone is 17, right? No, right. let me do 17. Yeah. We're on 17. Oh, uh, I'm on 17? We're on 17. No, yeah. we're on 17. We're on sorry. 17 now. So you just did your 17 or you just did 18? No, that was my 18. I finished off 18. So okay, do 17 then... one time. Let's oh, do 17 one time. Then, then, then yeah. the next one. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. That was my 17. Sorry. My bad. Oh, okay. Uh, Lizard. Oh. Uh, 17. Wow. Uh, my 17 is a wow. Another Ursa Ur- work. Shout out Billy Bat. Um, one of the most unique premises I've ever seen. Like the fact that the comic book you created turns almost turns into real life and it's like it involved this high skip um uh high like level of high uh conspiracy like 20th century boys i think this is one of his yes like his most unique premise in terms of like how could you think of that but he still managed to execute it on a high level um i like both main characters like both of them and uh how they work uh i think or i don't need to say much uh say about but also is the master of psychological anime i mean psychological manga so you already know it's gonna be good uh also has that one <laughs> infinite scene with einstein and thing the panel what <clears throat> oh sorry the uh, infamous uh, panel with einstein and uh okay uh, yeah i'm just Damn, I was trying, I was literally in the middle of a boss fight. Uh, 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 yeah, it's really well done. I think the mystery is really well held. Originally, I say it's psychological, his mystery game is insanely well or good as well. I and agree, yeah. Skull. This is one of his best. So I think it's his top three in the top three for this is actually his second best because there's one more spoiler alert. But yeah, that's Billy Bat. Wow. Pat. Number 17 is mm-hmm. The Breaker. That includes part one and new waves. Just hands, hands on top of hands, on top of hands. Elder Kwan is one of the rawest old niggas I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. Oh my god. Vince. You mean you don't like the Nine Arts Dragon? 17 for me is Tepu. Tepu, we already talked about that. Uh, This is the biggest drop for me. This went from uh, the top 10 to 17 after rereading it. I still love it a lot. still means a lot to me, but just didn't age as well as I'm getting older. But, um, yeah. So, but it's still really, really good. I still recommend it. I just kind of wish 
it got the the ending it really deserved and unfortunately it was stuff like that. What can you do? My 17 is Nanato Kawaru, something that was mentioned earlier. The thing that I wanted to just add, um, it's BDSM, right? So, you know, I'm told you, I like my romance with a little bit of sexiness in it. And essentially, it's like a loser kid who doesn't really care about school or anything like that, but he does care about like his long. And he's ugly long, as fuck. He's ugly as hell, boy. Ugly, <laughs> Got them frog looking eyes. Bull cut. Yeah. He's short. He look like he stink. Oh, my goodness. But yeah. But she likes him. She cares about him. And basically, she accidentally comes into his room and finds out that he has like a, you know, those like BDSM like outfits, whatever, that fits her proportions like perfectly and she's a straight a student who does all of her work and basically she's under a lot of pressure and like their quote-unquote breathing sessions where they practice like bdsm and all that stuff snm is what helps her like relieve stress and then like be fine for studying in school like that and then you see how they both develop in their relationship and life and school and things of that nature it's very 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 good one Don't forget, favorites. it's called it's it's not a break. It's called a breather. Naya, there you go. Um, I love that manga. I love that you have that on that list, man. That is a that is a good take. Yep, Ibitsu Okada Kazuto, another series from him that did I hold in high regard will be up here. I talk about this all the time. This was during the phase where I was very much into those more perverted series where the woman was the dominant figure, kind of bullying and carrying around like a loser. I guess male MC for whatever reason. And this guy makes like 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 dolls and stuff, like 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 uh mannequins, I think is it like mannequins and stuff, and then a, a high schooler comes to live with him and yeah, things get interesting. Things get interesting. Uh it's one of my absolute favorites. I'll kind of like circle back to a little bit of what this is about when I get to the next series that I like the most about this mangaka. And Pat's gonna give him a sixteen. I'm gonna tinkle real quick. Just yeah, I'll be right back. But yeah, I'm listening though. Okay. Number 16 is Slam Dunk. Inoue defeated the I don't finish shit allegations with this fucking manga. It's actually the first manga I ever read. And it's still one of my favorites. Every time I go back to it, I fall in love with it all over again. The panel where Mitsui looks back at Anzai Sensei with tears in his eyes. And he says he wants to play basketball again when he drops to his knees. I think that's like one of the most emotionally gripping things I've ever read. Like not even just manga, like just period, like everything I've ever read. I love his comeback story too. Like it's just fabulous. And then you got uh, Ryota Miyagi. If you haven't seen the Slam Dunk movie yet, they put so much respect on his name. I, it was just beautiful. That, that movie, I was honestly on the fence about the whole CGI thing, but they did a really good fucking job. Uh, but yeah, this manga, for a long time, it was the mountain, like the pinnacle of sports manga for me. It has long since been surpassed, but it's still really good. I think uh, 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 Shohoku versus Sano is one of the greatest sports manga matches ever. For a long time, it was number one. Back. But it's 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 just so, so good. So good. You should read Slam Dunk. It's hilarious. It's got... A really good developmental story with Hanamichi. Hanamichi is a lot more deep than most people realize. And I yeah, think it doesn't get the praise more. that it deserves. Cut it off. <laughs> You're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I don't know why I came into the room and said that. <laughs> Lizard 68. <laughs> he's, maybe he's eating. All right, Vince, give me 68. Uh, did he die already? That's great. No, anyway, I'm here. Uh, 60. Uh, 60 for me is Blom. Blame. Blom. I think it's Blom. With the explanation point. Uh, I legitimately think, and this is another sci-fi, I legitimately think this is the most unique manga I've ever read. Like, ever. It's got very good environmental and storytelling. It is, it is very non-dialogue heavy. There's barely any dialogue in here at all. Yeah, art, the art speaks for and itself. Tagashi. It really cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what makes it really cool. And it's just like you have to draw inf inference and, you know, kind of come to your own conclusions and stuff like that. And that's why I think that makes it really fun. I really enjoy doing that. And honestly, 
on Ray Ray, it might get even higher. I, I can see a scenario where one day even maybe gets to my top ten because I really I did not expect to really like this manga as much as I did. I really fucking like this manga. Um, you go next, Reaver. Sixteen. Okay, before I give my sixteen, if you're talking about the one where the buddy makes the dolls and we have the most tragic ending that made me cry into my pillow, I, I, I. I, I don't know what we're talking about here, man. That that shit scarred me for a lot of reasons, but I I think I know which manga you were referring to. Um, yeah, uh, my sixteen is much more wholesome than that. It's uh, Made Summer, which once again will never get a season two because you know, uh, there's too much too much sexuality uh, going on there, but uh, and misogyny going on there, but. Uh, it has the Demon Princess, a female who has taken over an all boy school, a school that has fucking been traditionally an all boy school. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm not on your stream right now. I'm on mobile. Oh, is it Hiro Fuji Fujiwara? Uh, no, it should be Koichi. Give me, give me two seconds. I'll, I can jump down. You said Maid Summer, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like Koichiro made somehow or something, but I can't say the right word. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. So, so yeah. So what, what this is about is that there's a, there's a woman who, uh, it was not a co-ed school. It became a co-ed school and the main character, our female decided to, um, like she became the student council president. As we all know, councils are like, manga universe and she is known as a steam president blah, blah blah but the thing is her family is really fucking poor so she works at a maid cafe very popular in japan and stuff like that the idea is is being the strong-willed i'm a strong independent woman who needs no man but working as a at a maid cafe sort of kind of contradictory a little bit so the idea is not to get the secret found out one of the favorite you know high school like dream queen boys is finds out and dynamics and so it's a slice of life romance comedy manga it's a lot of fun because the characters the characters drive this story we've seen a thousand of these manga but it drives the story 100 percent. great characters okay um who's next i am here oh go ahead i'm actually here uh my 16 i was here before but my bad my 16 is but two this is uh the second of two one of the two toshi Osako manga i will you will see on here the other one is gonna be way higher this is a story about a girl who um she always finds something she discovers the the through a um um you know this homeless guy she meets on thing uh in the park she learns the martial arts of capoeira and the intense joy you can get from that um this uh and then it's about a story about how she becomes an insanely good capoeira sort of thing but it changes like slight spoiler it turns like her family isn't really her family because her family <laughs> her real parents are like these uh, brazilian ma gang uh, mafia leaders and uh she basically has to get stronger through the fight through her uh, capoeira and the fight she has throughout the series to confront her real family and the uh, stuff she has and to protect the fake family or the, the family that she grew up with that, that turned out to be a fake family. Uh, the art is amazing. I think um, Toshi Sako, this is his second work and he really, uh, his art, like you can really tell his art, 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 his art is insane. One of my favorite artists, uh, manga artists of all time. The fights are amazing. I think this looks clean. I like, I like how this looks. Yeah. Um, the one of the best things that uh, I like, uh, you'll see one of the other books, I think. I like one of the series where the mangaka is a fan of the stuff he does. Because, uh, fun fact, the, the mangaka of Batuk actually does capoeira himself. And he's a really big fan of it. Like, you, you can go to this thing and he's, like, doing capoeira. He's participating in these competitions. Can he beat a gun? Like, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe. Just, just keep talking. Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I love Ichiri as MC. The way she grows from, like, uh just timid girl like it goes from her as a child to her in her high school the way she like grows more confident 
and it unlocks this like the in the pot- hidden potential inside of her of because of her bloodline of of her because <laughs> uh, of like you know where, her bloodline and where she come from. So well done, like Yongo. I love some of the uh, M's like one of the um villains in this. Uh, he's the definition of rawness and swag. Like he's the kind of guy to just let you punch him so he can punch you harder type of shit. So yeah. Okay. Read this. So here's what I want to do. We're we're doing uh we're doing fifteen to eleven. Okay. And uh mm-hmm. keep it brief. Now you speak in my language. Yeah, keep it brief. Very good. I said be concise and we doing way too much talking. All right. Wow. Chicano Toko is my fifteen. All right. Yo, it's my oh. weekend, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Chicano Toko, you spoke about it earlier. I love that. I just love how a misunderstanding turns into this. I actually think it's a pretty hyper realistic love story with how it goes. Cause she's so she was so unserious for a while. For like um you know, she was on some modern womanism, man. It was not moving me, but I really love this series. It's really good. And um, she kind of toko was um and um and Mc- Lester, Lester man was another wait the fuck is that one called? Oh, uh, thing Oni Master Kurosawa. That's the one. A Girl by the Shore is my favorite series by um Ino Sano. I know most people like um Oyasumi Pum Pum the most, but I thought this was his most enduring story. Uh, it moved me tremendously. Solomon would be my second favorite, but I think this is really, really, really good. It's really beautiful. I thought like the story of exploring these two teenagers and the kind of depressed kid was very, was very fire. I know, but also Pat has work, bro. So like, you know, I can't, I don't want to keep him longer than he needs to. Obviously, if he needs to go, he could just go. He's a grown ass man. But, you know, I'm not going to rush you to top 10, but I'm trying to get to the top 10 is really my point. Yeah. Um, yeah thanks. Dino Ace is my 13. This is the pinnacle of sports manga to me. Um, absolutely the greatest. I do like the manga a bit more than I do like the anime, though I think the anime is absolutely fantastic. I don't think it's necessarily inferior. It's just I, there's something about the intensity and the way he draws the pitching and the pitches. Um, it's so good. I love it. Um, I have so many panels from this manga, and I do think he illustrates it really well and gets like the emotions and everything across absolutely perfectly. So I really have no smoke or heat with the manga. This is an- another thing that broke into my top uh, 30 pretty quickly, all things considered, and I love it a lot. It is now completed. And yeah, I picked the most, one of the most unhinged panels. That's that's us. That's it's me and the boys Nothing. chilling, man. Double cheeked up, sacks the out in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the hot springs. Golden Kamui. God, I love this series. Go. If you think about it, seven hours total. Yeah. So, um, Golden Kamui, I highly recommend it. Got to find out Ainu Gold, man. Hina Hina. Um, Hetakoi. Yeah. One of my favorite romance manga. I got to, yeah, I, you keep seeing this theme. I got a lot of romance manga on here that's more adult like. He had the um, nickname and moniker of like granddad or grandpa because he was young but he has an old soul, something that I can relate to. So I really like this character a lot. And then we'll get into my top 10 later on for my gatekeeper, but that is my uh, 15 to 11. Pat. Okay. So hey. it's funny that he brought up Golden Kamui because number 15 is actually Golden Kamui on my list. But this is uh, another new entry on the list. Golden Kamui is just, it's fun. That, that's the best way I could put it. It's fun. I think there, it really is fun, but I really think than... when he got into um some of the some of the some of the interconnected stories with the characters in the past and how they connect to the present with oh, the yeah, yeah, gold, yeah, 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 it really sure. did come full circle. But I'm with you, yeah. Yes, but uh, well, my thing is like everybody wants to have fun when they're reading something, so you're not going to go more than three chapters without having to laugh. It's impossible. But the backstories on some of these characters is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Sugimoto, I think, is a really, really good MC. I love uh, Aserpa. Aserpa is also a really good female lead. And, like, the supporting cast around them, like, I, you see I put Eiji Kazutoshi's old, that, he, that nigga raw. I love yeah. raw old niggas. It, it's, it does something to me. Like, I'd be like, when I hit that age, I'm going to be like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I thought the ending was really good. Um... I gotta reread it in full when I get the chance, but I enjoyed. Surumi, I think, is one of the it. greatest antagonists I've read in recent manga history. Yes, yes, his his backstory was absolutely phenomenal. It threw me for a loop. Mm-hmm. Uh, number fourteen, Hajime no Ippo. Um, there's not really much more I can say about Ippo. It's extremely inspirational, motivational. The art in Ippo constantly gets better as it goes on and i'm absolutely absolutely at a loss for how uh morikawa is keeping this up because he's been going strong since 1989 
this man is made of different stuff. <laughs> He's made of different stuff. He will drop like three EPO chapters and be like, take them, enjoy them, and then drop like two more in a week. I don't know how he does it. That that number down there, the bottom left, it's not a typo. That's volume 129. Some people Real legendary that. shit. Yeah, Warcraft tech shit. Yeah. Real. Uh, number thirteen, Yu Yu Hakusho. I mean, like I said, it's Togashi's best series. Um, I like the anime more than the manga, but the manga has certain things that the anime does not have, like the introductory arcs when Yusuke was still a ghost, and you get to see what kind of person he really is. Uh, the one I really like is like when that uh one girl got dumped by uh her who she thought was her boyfriend. Cause she was a ghost too. She had died and she couldn't pass on because like she was waiting for him. And then like, she found out that he had been playing her all this time and he comes and he consoles her and comforts her and stuff like that. And she has like literally the best day ever and she could pass. And I was like, this, this is why I like this game. Cause he has a heart of gold, but yeah. Uh, I think Togashi back at this time when he was doing Yu show was at his best because he focused less on text, more on drawing. I think his visual expressions for characters, like soft expressions, is one of the best ever. It's definitely worth a read. Uh, number 12, also a big drop. This used to be in my top five, Berserk. Berserk was my top five, but Mira unfortunately passed away. And I have to drop it because we'll never really get his true vision. But that doesn't negate everything that we've seen thus far. I think this is absolutely one of the best manga ever created. Uh, it's a shame that his health was failing him, so he had to like take multiple hiatuses. But I think Guts' journey from the very beginning up until he's an adult is one of the most tragic pieces I think I've ever read, but also really satisfying at the same time. That's a lot of highs, a lot of lows. But I think it's worth the read, even though it's you're not going to really see how Mira wanted to end it. Uh, and number 11, another series that fell out of my top 10 because top 10. I see Holy Land, Holy Land. Kyle. She was so funny, but you got it. Yeah, Holy Land. It's hands, bro. Like, literally, it's just hands. Yeah. The nigga, you start off, this nigga is beating niggas' asses in a bathroom. <laughs> Bro. They just fight for like 200 chapters. And it's gas. <sighs> that nigga right there that's hey. carrying the MC, he's all Misaki. That book, just... that book was the ultimate tutorial. Niggas hating. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga sat in the dark, read a book, it worked but... out in a home gym. And turn it to God of martial arts. <laughs> he, he, practiced, he practiced the form. He was in his room studying, practicing, putting the work in. And then he came out there. You know what? And when it was time to fight, he didn't I don't blame up. you for this. It's not your fault. But I hate that little nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was getting dumps. I actually find people who know martial arts hate this fucking manga. If you if you actually see martial arts, they don't buy it. Try, I'm trying to tell you, I, I did not study <laughs> because my boy Carlton's the same way. He's like, no, a book, bro. he read a book. I'm not trying to hear this. <laughs> I said, all right, he man. read a book, bro. There's no fucking way you read a book and you start knocking niggas out. I'm not trying to hear. It, it used to be in my top thirty though. Um, all right, lizard, fifteen to um, my to fifteen to sorry, let me get to it. My uh, 15, Monster, Pat only talked about it. My favorite Shout Orozawa to work. Hibert. Yeah, I, I think it's a very strong it. start, by the way. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it entices you very quickly with the, with the, with the Johan stuff, but keep going. Uh, Johan, one of the greatest antagonists in manga history. Tenma, their dynamic is really well done. The journey and like the whole What's thing. What's that girl's name again? I, I'm not sure. My, my Wait, Hannah. Like, Hannah. Uh, Hannah. 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 Yes, Lieber. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, bitch. what a twat nah, waffle. Hey, look, look, when that nigga Johan took off the wig, nigga. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't believe that shit. 
I was like, no. <laughs> that plot twist was crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Pat talked about a lot. I love the psychological thing. I love the concept of, you know, ultimate good versus evil, as Pat said. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, 14. this monster, 14, is high Q. Uh, I, I love, I'd probably say I love the manga more, but they're really close to me. Um, I think, uh, he just executes, uh, he's insanely well-drawn art. Um, executes the fights. The fights seem hype, even if it wasn't like I watched the anime, so I have my standards of hype were really high. But he managed to ex- exceed them. Uh, uh, some of the best sports matches I've seen him them versus uh the twins, the Mia twins is one of my favorite fights, uh, favorite matches. Uh, funny enough, I have thir- my thirteen and twelve was actually Naya's step, so my thirteen is Golden Kamui. Hey. Uh. You, you both of you talked about it. I love it. It's the, the, the most insanely bad humor comedy possible. They have um, them fighting bears and fighting um, crazy, trying to uh, like collect human skins. And I was talking about with the Duke I like series where you know the uh, mangaka loves the thing they're into. And you can tell the care and love um, the mangaka Noda has for um, Noda. Ainu culture. He's unhinged, yeah, uh, but I love him. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, skeet he, match was actually unhinged. <laughs> That's the most unhinged yeah, thing he did. Yeah, that, uh, that was that was the strangest thing. I've I was ever actually ever disturbed, ever. but I I I laughed though. But I was just, I was like, bro, what do you what do you want? Go back to the yeah, bear. Uh, the bear was less weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bear bad. Imagine saying that. <laughs> that was a, that, that was numbers. less weird to me, and I know but what's weird. Going, you can tell going. he loves I know culture, and you can tell he has a lot. Like, shout out to the uh, teams that yeah. uh, the people that translated it, you could, the love for it, the culture and reference he has. He's in a lot of good translator is, notes. Yeah, you, you can, like, what do you read the translators? Like, oh shit, this is reference to that. I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my 12 is Diamond Oase. Again, a lot of us talked about it. I even talked about it in my thing. There's only Act 2 because I didn't watch Act 1. But I didn't read Act 1, I watched it, and, you know, I think they're pretty good. Act mm-hmm. 2, amazing. It just picks up from the anime and it adapts everything well. Hype moments are hype. I always feel, I'm like, Yo, let's go! Uh, but yeah, my 11 is Twin Star Exorcist. This is a Exorcist manga, probably my, yeah, my favorite Exorcist manga. A, yeah, my favorite Exorcist manga about these two kids that don't like each other, but they have to get married because they're their kid will become the one that saves them from the demons they're, tra- they're causing you to try to hide. And it is a super bloody, but super bloody series and the art is well done. But I just love the romance between Rokuru and uh, Benio, the main girl, main guy and girl, girl, and how they grow. They literally go from kids to like now they're in their 20s and their romance develops. But yes, yeah, so that's my gatekeeper. Then we're in the light, uh, the actually in the final arc, and he's been hitting it out of the park with this final arc. So I, if he, if it goes all the way, it might be higher. But yeah, yeah, I I left Twin Star off my list because I went too long without reading it, and now I have to read it all over again. You like remind it. myself why I liked it so much, but I you know like it's it's gonna be like in my twenty ish area. No. I really like Twin Star. Vince. Yeah. 15 to 11. Okay, so for me, Kasane, that's a new addition. Uh, it's about an ugly girl who has this mysterious power with this lipstick that she got from her mom. Very interesting. Very different from anything you ever read. Don't want to give too much away. You should read it. Very interesting. About kind of the pros and cons of not only being ugly, but being beautiful as well. Those pros and cons to both. Uh, Twist Our Exorcist. Another shonen where I think it has everything in it. Very unique and engaging romance as far as, like, it's the mother from the beginning, but they still have to learn each other and all that good stuff. Uh, good lore, good fighting. Power system's just okay, but I think it makes up for a lot of ways, and I do think it's just really good, and it continues to build on all the characters, even the villains. Um, out. It's supposed to be a delinquent manga, but it's more like a crime syndicate manga because those teenagers are fucking wild. They all some crazy ass shit. Um, it used to be a little bit higher, but with it, it not even that much. I was like at eleven, but I think it's done a little weird shit a little bit lately. But it ain't really decreased my rating of it. It's still, I think it's really great. But some interesting things have happened here and there. Still really good. Uh, Alice in Borderland. 
I also recommend the live action too, because I also think that's really good. But Alice in Borderland, really good psychological things with games, things that touch on a lot of nuanced themes, and a lot of good stuff with it. And when it comes to that, really love this manga. But there's one game and section that I like in particular that really made me kick this up in the high gear with that. And also new edition at number eleven, which had Altier. Uh, I think this is one of the, also one of the most unique manga I ever read. It completely does magic in a different way. Coco is a cinnamon roll of a girl. She is just the best daughter in manga currently. And uh, I just think this is a unique system when it comes to magic because magic is based off of drawing. And drawing speed is how you use magic in here. And it just talking about wit society and you have to kind of hide your powers, and you can't let other people know. And it's just very, very interesting with a beautiful art style. And yeah, I just think it's one of the most unique things I've ever read. It's really good. I haven't been so hyped about another manga since Act Age. I've heard good things. And so, yeah. Well, not Act Age. Yeah, I gotta go engage in my hobbies, ass nigga. Oh my lord. Griever, you're gonna go all the way to 10. I'm gonna go all the way to 10. All right. So I'm gonna do it with, like Vince did it, because, uh, you know, between Pat and I, we can make this shit go on for two hours just by ourselves. So, um, we're going to go 15. Record of Ragnarok, Shimatsu no Valkyrie. Heracles is boss. Adam is boss. Zerofuku is boss. Yes, it fell off, but it's well drawn. That first fight got me hooked, and I'm still into it. Now, 14. Air Gear. Air Gear is, all I have to say is, Agito, I think bride fuck you do it for the team <laughs> if you don't i mean it's just listen air gear is some top shit then we have 13 something that most people don't know about bloody monday it goes on for three sequel mangas i hate when mangas do that sequel shit but either way all of them are good all of them are good bloody monday is a, basically a bunch of hackers trying to defeat a bunch of high schooler hackers trying to defeat a terrorist plot to destroy from a cult fucking terrorist organization. It's amazing. It's one of the best written mangas I've ever read in my life. If if it was done on writing alone, I would argue this shit is on par with like some death note realism. It is just it's it's right up there. Um my number 12 is Medica Box. I love I I just now we, now are we talking. I, I, That's a real manga. Everything about this manga is it calls out shonen on its bullshit while being a shonen manga. And it does both perfectly. Like, let's just go. Like, there's if you don't have this on your list, who the fuck are you? Have you read Sheen always wins in the end? Well, I mean, let's go. Let's go. That ending was pretty shitty, but I'm a Yeah, the ending once again. Shonen I disagree. Manga problem, uh, I don't have a problem with the ending. I, I don't have much of a problem, but there is some of a problem. But either way... I'm, I'm going to turn the shitty way. battle manga to a shitty role match? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's, let's go. And one thing that I always love, weighted words. This was Conker's Hockey done fucking golden. Weighted words. My words make you kneel. Fucking A. Like, I was like, that would be my superpower. Fuck lightning, fuck fire, fuck everything else. Weighted words. Bow before me because I'm that fucking good. Let's go. Um, fiction, then, then my 11 is Beelzebub. Hey. Let's be real. We've already talked about it. But Beelzebub, we love Oga. We love super baby time, super milk time. Super milk you know time I mean? is the greatest for transformation ever. Or subversion it, of it to some degree. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, like. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I what's he gonna you. do? And I'm like, first of all, I'm like, he's just like me, he can't drink milk, <laughs> he's dying yeah, over there. Not, he's like, me. I can't drink milk either. I'm he's not, he started to actually milk. warm and make the bottle. And it's like, nigga, he's not ready yet. I'm like, no, what the fuck? What about brother burns me? Yeah, like, that shit's so lame. Jabba walk, Jabba walk, wait, wait a minute, and then I'll be ready. I'm powering up. You want a real fight? Let's be ready. Behemoth is raw. Everyone, Hilda is raw. Everybody in that series is fucking raw. Let's go. Um, and then for my number 10, I'll open up the floodgates. I got Yona of the Dawn. Nice. I have Yona of the Dawn. 
It is That's probably the best shoujo romance series I've ever read in my fucking life. It is the greatest shoujo series. Come at me. We have some of the best. And even though it's a shoujo, it has some of the best action. It has some of the best panels. It has some of the best, like, goddamn. If you like anything, like, if you like fantasy settings, if you like a, a kingdom at war, if you like the idea of uh, the old fairy tale, that, that's what I'm looking for. Fairy tale. If you like that old fairy tale with a mature twist, read Yona and the Fucking Dawn. Best version of it I've ever read. All right. That's my number 10. Let's go. All right. Vince, number 10. My number 10 is Zash Bell. I Sakita. think. Or Gash Bell, however you want to pronounce it. Either Fushiki or. Jazz Bell, I think it is. Something like that. Yeah. Either or. I don't really care. Mm-hmm. No, don't care, Simi. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Tsunami said did all the other shit, so I don't give a well, fuck. Well, fuck. Uh, I, I heard him say that. I heard him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I just think it's very, very good story with a really strong when it comes to the power of friendship, which normally the thing I don't really give a shit about, but I think this is one of the most well done, if not the most well done. I think all the fights are really good. I think it's a very unique power system, and it's good from beginning to end without I have to worry about the fall off. Mm-hmm. And I think how we got there with all the other side characters too is really good, so I think it's just rare to have something that complete from beginning to end. Yeah. Lizard. Ooh. Yeah, so my number 10 to start off my number 10 in my final non-100 manga series is uh, Blade of the Immortal. Very good stuff. Just, uh, I mean, I talked about it, but man, I just love this. First of all, the art style is amazing. I know it's more sketch-like, which, you know, some people might be turned off with, but I think he... Um, it doesn't look, but it's like a rough draft. That's the difference. <laughs> It it's looks like, like a, it's more, more of an intentional style choice yeah, than like it's like an aesthetic skin. choice. It's an aesthetic choice rather than just the limitations of him as an artist. Mm-hmm. Um, hierarchy, like just the concept of mon, like um, like him trying to become learn, uh, trying to get rid of his disease, uh, this curse of becoming of immortal. I love um, the art, uh, the do you, fighting. So and, do you remember like, the guy? Who had, the, who has the mask on with the spiky hair? With when the when like the the prostitute died, I like him too. I remember his name. Taito. Was that his name? Okay, that's what you talk. Keep talking. Maybe. Um, I love like all the characters have these like all these characters are really badass and like they are all they could all fight, man. I like how um like the fighting style, like how the the uh, hero here Sawamura is able to draw the fights in this manga and really well done. I love the relationship between like Manji and Rin, um, between uh, like Mike, Mikey, M- Mikey, Mikey, my thing. Yeah, Magatsu uh, ta- uh, Taito. Yeah, him. Like, yeah, like him. Kagehisa. Like all these, they're, they're like, like it's not like Gamron where they have these unique fights. Like, like people fight with sights. They fight with like uh, chains and ball, uh, ball and chains, and it's just really well done, highly execu- well executed. Yeah, if you if you haven't read this, man, uh, just tap time. in. There's time. Yeah, tap. Exactly. Number ten, Pat. Number ten is out. Out is the new gatekeeper. Um, I feel like almost everything that I said about crows, I can also say for out. But the thing is, out kind of ramps it up with the uh, gruesomeness and the ridiculousness at times, but. At the same time, I think this is a more dark depiction of the delinquent side of things. I think Crows is the more lighthearted side. So it's like yeah, two sides of the same coin. Mm-hmm. So out out is like the part of the society where delinquents end up being like the worst pieces of shit. And Crows is like, oh, you're just a troublemaker, but later on in life, you're going to find your avenue and then you're going to be a functioning member yeah, of society. Yeah, Crows are more like, Crows are more like they're not bad people <laughs> and out, they you can legitimately make the argument most of them are terrible people. And Absolutely. They, they do Go. not deserve to function in regular Crows society. Crows has its moments, but it definitely leans more on the path of redemption. 
that it leads yeah. to like you know but, but there was some very tragic deaths and stuff like that but i i think out has a lot of themes that it touches upon that is really powerful a lot of themes of suicide depression isolation uh not feeling love it's a lot of things that's like could kind of dampen your day but at the same time they make it through by forming the camaraderie they have in their gangs and they treat them as like a bond stronger than family even like the lengths that they will go for each other i think is kind of admirable mm -hmm. not to say that i'm condoning it of course but i think it's really interesting to read and the fights go crazy now that first time i seen uh uh times i fucking stomp that nigga out oh my god no nah, they were one of the bro. coldest panels Ever. Bro, I, I ain't never seen nobody beat another nigga ass and then look sad afterwards. He's like, I told you I was going to do this. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, when you sad, you just stomp that nigga out. He just, well, you made me do this. Look at this. You made like, me It's do crazy because I seen the panel on the timeline before. But when I read it for myself, like, when it happened, I'm like, nah. This nigga is insane. But yeah, it's, right. it's a really good story. My gatekeeper for manga is actually still the same. It has, it has hardly ever changed. It's always been Good Ending. Good Ending is one of my favorite all-time romance series in general across all mediums. And oddly enough, like the fucking title, I love the ending. It's got a good ending. Yeah, it's got um, a good ending. Yeah. Great artwork, great drama. I don't think it. I think it's paced well. I don't think it drags on longer than it needs to be. It doesn't do the... Um. Over upset, the, it doesn't overdo the back and forth and break up and not break, and not together and this and that and the other. Like, I think you can overdo it, honestly, and you could lose me. So, good ending is there. I'm gonna go to seven, and then everyone, you do, you do whatever. Isn't it seven. nine? Huh? He He's said going nine, for eight, ten to seven. seven. Oh, okay, okay, my yeah. bad. No, Zokiana. This this starts off, it's all uh, people. <laughs> Man, like I told you, like, you're going to keep seeing this theme. My romance series that I like, etchy. So, long story short, there is a hole in the wall with a guy and a neighbor, and he looks in there and sees her flicking her shit, flicking her bean, and that just starts their relationship off where she watch him, he watch her, and then it just completely escalates into them liking each other, but him finally getting some holes, and then him getting played, and all kind of stuff happening, but it's they're beautiful. It's well drawn. The eighties and sex is really good. All that stuff. Um, Nozokiana is absolutely one of my all time favorites. Nozomi X Kimi or Kimi X Nozomi, whatever the the other series by him, which kind of tries to emulate this. I still like it, but it's obviously like a, yeah, it's not, it's trying to reclaim glory, former though. glory. It doesn't yeah. work. You can't do it twice. You can't capture lightning in a bottle twice. But but yeah, but yeah. He said, "Oh man, okay. that's frequent freak man stories." Hey, I'm a freaky deaky dude. Um. Akunohana, Les Fleurs du Mal, Flowers of Evil at number uh, eight. I thought they did a really good job interpreting this story in its own way. Um, I thought the relationship between the two characters, how it evolves and the time skip and how things change was really, really good, really well done. I think it's, I think the artwork is incredible. It's um, extremely artistic in how it tells its story. And I think it's one of those where, you know, when they say like a, a, a picture speaks uh, says a thousand words, whatever the saying is. I can't remember verbatim mm -hmm. right now. I'm tired. Um, I really, a lot of panels where I'm just like, look at how the art is just speaking to me. I really wish the anime didn't go rotoscoping. I don't think this was the anime to do that with. I think they should have tried to keep the art style that the manga held, but it is what it is. What can I do? Number seven is something I talk about ad nauseum on the channel, which is Die Well Gelda, which I think is, um, Samura Hiraoki, uh, Hiraoki's, um, best series. Um, I talk, I spoke about Nami Torine and one of my favorite um, MC characters list and whatnot. Uh, when the story really picks up and you get to see what the overarching plot is, it's very it's pretty dark and surprising. But these three MCs, the kind of the three main girls, they're a really good trio. Um, they don't really I work together. Got a chance to read this, I get it now. Yeah, this shit is really good, and the art is surprisingly like kind of crazy. Yeah, and the yeah. fights and fights the are fight, really, really fight good. Too. Yeah, man, when 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 Nami came through and she just standing there with the fucking shoddy, I'm like, yo. And then the 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 Chinese girl be beating people's ass too. Like she has a metal yeah. arm where she yeah. twisted yeah. that nigga's dick off. I said, beach? oh my yeah, god. Bro. Yeah, bro, them three fight at the beach was crazy, bro. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, absolutely insane. God tier. So yeah. All right, Pat. 
You're on nine right now. Ooh. Nine eight seven. Glide, okay. Yes. Number nine. Ow. Uh, look, look at my boy Kutsu. I came around. <laughs> he's but, him. He's unhinged, but he's him. <laughs> there there has been so much soccer manga. Inazuma eleven. Fucking Captain Subasa. Aaron Okishi. Got them. And Okishi, this is not that. Our Ashi transcends all that other football shit that they've been trying to put out. This manga right here is generational. If it wasn't for Diamond No Ace, this would be the best sports manga I've ever read. That nigga right there on the left, Ashito, he's my second son. I want to see him succeed. Everything he does, I'm like a proud father. My I'm full like, back. yeah, see, look at you. You getting it. You understanding it. It this Javi and Iniesta both read this shit. This is not <laughs> yep. a game. I'm telling you, legends of football are recommending this manga. That's how good it is. The bar. That's the all bar I'm gonna say. Y'all nice. need to go read that shit. Yep. Fuck Blue Lock. Okay, keep going. Number eight. I ain't no ace. I already spoke enough about it on the anime stream. I love the manga almost as much as I love the anime. But the missing piece is the soundtrack. The soundtrack for the anime go crazy. If I had that with the manga, I think I'd probably rate it at number three as well. But this best sports manga, bar none, nothing comes close. Well, actually, I lied. Aoashi is coming close because it's literally right beneath it. But it's just, ah, it's magnifique. So good, number and, seven. Man, that that line about the, the, the baseball. Have you seen the baseball demon that sold his soul to the devil? Have you ever seen the ball roll in the cold yeah, white ball, snow? Ball, I ball, said, ball. I have, I have, bro. Right. Man, it's running right. in the snow. We didn't come here to play baseball for fun. For fun, for fun. We came to take the, the way. championship yeah, banner. No, that that is real. That's <laughs> the realest shit ever said in manga, or at least in sports manga. Nah, yep. nah. That's the team I'm trying to be part of. They they was moving. They're so different. Them niggas won the championship and their coach punished them. <laughs> Never we satisfied. Never satisfied. <laughs> it's not always about winning. Little it's little about title. how you win. So I've been there. It, it, yup. <laughs> so y'all want one little title. Let it get to y'all heads. Y'all gonna be practicing baseball without a ball for a week. Oh, y'all happy you won that shootout? Why was we in the shootout when we was up 2 nothing? Run. <laughs> I've been there. I have. All right, keep going. Yeah, uh, number seven is Villain Saga because the farmland arc changed me. It honestly changed me. Oh, I didn't know that pacifism Christ. could be that good. It's probably top five best arcs I've ever read in manga. Like, Jesus seriously, it's the most Christ. beautiful thing I've ever seen. And not only that, I think Yukimura is really, really, really good at touching upon the human element, making people want to be better for themselves, showcasing the trauma that people have gone through. Like that moment when um, uh, Arn held, she was like dying and Torfin was trying to think of what to say to help her live on. And he was like, there's a, uh, a land out there called Vinland. And then she was like, is there going to be men over there? Is there going to be war? And he, he couldn't tell her no because, like, he didn't know if there was war over there or not. And she was like, well, if there's going to be war over there, then I'd rather not live at all. And she passes on. And at, at that moment, I was like, this series is doing something different from other series that I've ever read before. I just, I really love Vinland Saga. I think it's a nice balance between pacifism and violence. I think it touches upon both of those themes really well. Um, I'm not too crazy over the current arc, but I'm waiting to see where it goes. Next up. Oh, not six. All right, you're good. You're done. All right, my bad. Um, Lizard. All right, nice talk. Vince? All right, so... What am I at? Nine? Nine for me, One Piece. Oh, shit. So, so One Piece moved it's, from... Is it your top ten? One Piece. Yes. 
you're you're not my enemy anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, One Piece is in my tell. It went from eleven to nine. Really like One Piece. Nice. Well, I really like One Piece. I'm kind of similar to Nair for the reasons I read this. I don't give a fuck about fighting in this. I know it's a battle shonen, but I really think in some way that's kind of one of the most least interesting parts about One Piece. I legit read this for like everything else. For just the adventure, the comedy, the building a relationship between the crew. I really love One Piece for the most part. Does it have its problems? Of course it does. We all know it. It's all fine, though, I think. But still, I think Oda, at his best, is one of the best writers I've ever seen, regardless of medium. And it deserves all the praise that it got. Not trying to hear none of that other nonsense about none of that other stuff. You get something from me when you've done way more good than bad. So, yeah. So that's number nine. Going. Number eight, Onani Master. We kind of already talked about it. Like I yeah, said, I see? It's very special. I'm not crazy. Just- I'm telling you. It, I just think it's very special to be able, like I said, I think one of the Japanese writing greatest thing is that it could take a weird premise and and turn it into something very good. It just don't make no sense, and that's just really good. I couldn't believe it. It's really shocking. And then number seven, Berserk. Um, I feel like it'll always be in my top ten, but it will probably never get higher than this because of, yeah, Mira dying, and piece. we'll never get the complete vision. Yeah, I appreciate them trying to at least finish it so we at least kind of see because at least they'll give us like what will happen. They won't be able to do it the same way he will, but at least they're trying to give us get to the ending so I can always appreciate that. But obviously it's not going to be the same, but I just think uh, Guts, Griffin, and Casca are some of the most interesting best written characters. It has a problem with the sexual stuff and I can understand anybody not wanting to read it for those reasons. I cannot blame you at all, but I also think for as dark as this story is, I think this is a story about the human condition, the human indomitable spirit not to give up. And I actually think for such a dark story, it actually has, actually has a positive uh, message of just, you know, trying to get through all of the negative and horrible things that humanity has to go through. Uh, should I go? No. You're supposed to go. Never again. No, I, I, yeah. my, 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 mute was, uh, my mic was actually muted. Um, my number nine, to protect the text is to protect the world. Uh, it is Magus of the Library, my newest uh, addition to my top ten. And my newest just a top ten. Well, newest just a top my third thirty and my, the first one hundred. This is only twenty nine chapters. It's monthly, but you could uh, this really captured me. This is a story about a is a fan, uh, fantasy world. It don't even come out. It co- it's monthly, but the, nah, the you weird... tricked you trick. Not nah, it, it's believe. monthly, but we get it. We the English for English thing is a uh, volume release, so you know, technically I'm right. Uh, this is a fantasy series about um this uh, like it surrounds it. The uh, concept is basically uh there's this huge uh monk uh the uh, MC loves reading books and he loves doing all that shit, but <laughs> I man, send me, on your, send me on your ass. <laughs> Listen, man, it's not completed though, and it's it's monthly, so it's like really like sixty chapters in a weekly. This is um yeah, it's a fantasy series about M- M- uh, uh, MC loves reading books, but he's bullied because of his uh race and his thing. Uh, but then he gets saved by these uh, like these uh, basically like these librarians they can fight and like they have magical powers. And he decides he wants to become one of those librarians, and. Uh, I live for a lot of reasons, like I could probably uh, more than I probably shouldn't go into right now. But keep it short. Uh, to one of my favorite, the, the main points. I love the art. The, some of the most beautiful art I've ever seen. I love these um characters. I love the the way they tackle themes about like sexism and like uh, like in depth. Like one of the best ways of seeing uh, handle sexism and all that. Um, I think I I really recommend it. Anybody who wants to give it a try, give it a try. My number twenty, uh, my number eight is Great Teach Only Zuka. I talked about it in. It's lower. It's eight on here, but it's it's. I actually love the manga more because well, one of the reasons it's it's a full completed story, a ad- adapted story of the, um, instead of the anime that doesn't fully adapt it. Um, I I talked about a lot of verses where I love that, but man, one of the raw scenes where he, 
he does arm wrestles with like 50 like 200 different student uh, uh student different people just to help the students at the consecutively most raw shits i've ever seen uh my number seven is dora hey doro oh. this is a Oh, again, I was talking about with uh, in the anime stream. I love esoteric humor, and this is one of the most esoteric out there in C- Bastion C- uh, series of all time. It's funny as fuck. Like, uh, Kyo Hayashida has the most deranged sense of humor, and I love her for that. Um, I think she, um, like, she, she'll she she'll make, like, a corpse talking or something like that in the funniest scenes possible. I love the art style, how messy and gritty and thing, but it actually adds to the comedy in a way. Um, the whole Kaiman and and Naikaido's like, relationship with each other is so well written. I love Shin and the other the whole like the whole gang, like the Mushroom Gang cast, and yeah. Uh, that's my son. Yo, um, where are we going from nine to seven? She. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go with uh, Kengen Ashura. Nice. Uh, it is the greatest tournament manga, period. And I've read a lot of tournaments Back. in and out of shit. But, I Back. mean, the whole manga is a goddamn tournament. The art Back. only gets better. It is fucking incredible. The character arcs, it, and it, it is subverts so many expectations. It gets you in the emotional feels. What you think is going to be tropey and what happens does not happen character matchups that are obvious that are supposed to happen do not happen it is kengan ashura easily when i was reading it jumped from being like you know just another one of the 500 600 700 manga i've read all the way up to easily in my top 20 within 100 chapters it was no question like it just i could go on and on but we're trying to get through this shit so anyways kengan amazing uh, number eight, Boar's Head Podcast. Let's go. Seven deadly fucking sins. Nanatsu no Taizai has a lot of flaws. Oh shitty ending, shitty final arc. But did you drop a coin there on the ground? I mean. No, I'm sorry, brother. That's not enough for me. I love Escanor, though. Esk- yeah, but, but all right. So we got Escanor. But we also have what we failed to see is that we got some great other characters. We have a bond. Nick Diggs Eldris. Don't don't just, just, just say it. Just say Eldris. Thank you. Ominous Zeldris. fucking nebula. The ominous nebula, the prince of darkness himself. We have Melio. And Bond's a great character. Bond's a great character. Yeah, we have and and even at a time, Gil Thunder in the first arc was a fucking boss. All right. So we had we had plenty to love about Seven Deadly Sins. Yes, did it fall off, of course, but a lot of manga do. So I'm, yeah, Seven Deadly Sins, easy, easy. And uh, number seven is Shokugeki no Soma Food Wars. I just heard it last time about talking about how the I'm going to be a little higher, take... a little higher. I thought it was in your top five, actually. You really, remember? really? Yeah. Well, it, 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 go, it comes in its ways. My top ten are interchangeable a lot of the time, but That's Food fair. Wars, obviously... As someone who's not a professional chef but loves to cook, has been cooking since I was a kid, uh, I appreciated this because they had a professional chef actually help all the recipes you see can be made. They are not just there for anime tomfoolery. They can be made. You can make them at home. Are they going to make you strip? No, but maybe you should. I don't know. But either way, my point is is that this was awesome. The characters, yeah, it was tropey and stuff, but I, I loved this I love this show. I love Shoki Ekino Soma. It is just too fucking good. And once again, as a as a foodie or whatever you want to call it, there there's nothing that gets me more hyped than a good food manga. And as we said, a Japanese the Japanese decide that oh yeah, we can easily have fists and kicks. We're gonna make food a power system. How are you gonna do that? Hold my pencil. And they do it. They've done it multiple times. Addicted to Curry, Toriko, Food Wars. It works every fucking time. I love no, the creativity. Nobunaga no Chef, Bambino, yes, it, Bambino Secondo. There's a lot of good cooking ones. They're, they're, c- cooking is just sitting there alongside a sports manga. It's just, it's a genre <laughs> in its own right. And Food Wars does it phenomenally. So that's mm-hmm. my number seven. Okay. 
I'm going to I'm going up until three, and then after that, everyone we do we do our top three. So I'm going uh six to three. Wait, what? Did I just confuse my own self? Whatever. Um, six is crows. Boy, you hard to meet you. It don't make sense tonight when I'm yeah. done. Uh, Boy Hadamichi, Crows. Crows is absolutely my favorite delinquent Yankee manga. Boy Boy Hadamichi, the man you see on screen here, absolutely my favorite manga lead and has been since I've read Crows. This guy is the goat, man. He is strong. He's funny. He's got everything that I need in the character. His character arc is amazing. And he's the only person that I was able to draw with the absolute god of the verse, Rinda Man. Okay? He had a, and that fight is legendary. That is top. It's a top five manga fight. Their their second round when everybody was watching, to the point there were middle schoolers that were watching that fight that were so inspired by it. They were so fucking moved by these two niggas throwing hands and the amount of respect that they threw with each other. To the point that I argue, Boyard really didn't like. It's not that he he there wasn't certain challenges to overcome, but after Rinder Man was gone, there was no one who could really st to step to this man. And he didn't have he didn't really have a true rival after that. Um, my guy from the Manji Empire did his best. He tried. He was good, but come on, man. Come on, man. This guy's the goat, bro. Um I, I've I've spoken about it. I literally have videos on my channel about it if you want to hear me keep going at it. So absolutely. Yeah, he yeah, uh Tatsu, yep. Yeah. And 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 uh Beto brother. This <laughs> too easy. Um he almost lost to Ryushin secretly though. <laughs> Secretly, he got lucky that first time. <laughs> Gintama has never left my top five since it entered my top five. Go. Um, what 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 more can I say about Gintama? It is absolutely the funniest manga I've read, and the reason that I always choose it over the anime for me is very simple. I will say this: the anime is great. I love it. Just because I read so fast, the jokes hit a little better for me than having to wait for the actors to say it out loud. Especially if it's a very elongated joke, like, jukum, jukum, poop, throw, da, 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 beep, beep, like, like, I could just read it faster than they say it. And for that, for some reason, it just makes the joke hit harder with me when it doesn't feel as drawn out. But I'm not trying to downplay the anime in any capacity. I love it. I still gotta watch that movie, though. Um, Yeah. Abstractus, uh, Sorachi. This is, a, this is a great series. My, my gorilla. Yep, Kat, um, Katsura is the goat. That's my that's my that's one of my favorites, man. He's so fucking hilarious. He just like, I saw him in like two seasons. Like, this is my favorite character, and I don't think he's gonna get topped. Can you? I don't remember her name. Not apologize for it. Disrespectful. Ever. First, um, what's the what's the what's the girl with the scar? The on her face, the prostitute uh, the scar. Her face. I love I love her, but you know the old lady. You know the old lady. My second favorite character, right? Uh, Otose. Yo, yep. I, Otose is fire, man. Nah, I don't see her nobody's list. Y'all don't, don't rate her like that. She's a goat. Just, she, <laughs> She's a goat. And I don't see no one. I'm going to have to be the one. Make a character video on her. She is fucking raw. I love her. She don't get no respect. That's my second favorite character in Gintama. Sandome. Another Kazuto Odaka. So when I was talking about Ibitsu earlier, Sandome broke my heart, man. The ending is very, 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 very sad and all that. But it is absolutely a great and fantastic read. Um... It was a powerful story. A bit of a come, I want to say slightly coming of age, but seeing the, the the relationship with the main character and her, how it grows, how perverted it is, the fact she never lets him beat, and just how it all shapes out in the end, it's quite the journey. I, it's one of those things where I, t I say like it's not a manga, it's an experience. Like Sandomi is one of those few manga I wish I could erase my memory of and re-experience it again because I know if I read it today, it would still move me, and. Um, Ponsu pon, M, whatever it's called, I think I think it's Ponsu, whatever his other series. I like it a lot. It could end. It could enter the top um thirty. I have to do a proper full reread because I read it very sporadically. Like, it was one of those things where like, okay, chapters came out and I'm like, okay, I read them. Then I'll check weekly, and then no chapters will come out, so I give up. And then like four months later, thirty chapters came out, and I'm like, oh brother. So, I have to, I want to do a proper read read of that. But alright, I'm done. Go ahead, Pat. Okay, so number six, we were just talking about it. Gintama, Gintama cool. is again, it's the funniest series I've ever experienced. Uh, I think the manga is just as good as the anime, honestly. I think Sorachi's art is really, really good. It gets a lot better as it goes on, but I've always liked it from the jump. Um, reading those last couple chapters, 
it was like he put a shotgun right to my chest and just blasted that shit. Man. Like, the final chapters of Takasugi just did something that could not be filled afterwards. I also, but you yeah, can't appreciate the series if I say, I can't. When, when does it get serious? Can I just go to the Benny Zonker arc? You'll never appreciate Gintama that way. I don't give a fuck. No, no, fuck no, you. No, stop no, skipping. No. Stop being a pussy ass bitch. And uh, read, anybody... you pathetic coward. If anybody says this, just tell them to drop the series, man. That's not where I'm at. Like, if you say you. Okay, I don't you respect this. you if you skip. You're a loser. Yeah. Why? I hope someone's offended. Someone's chest is beating fast because you a skipper. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's a series <laughs> that you want to get into and enjoy. It's a fucking no nonsense. Fucking nonsense. Number, yeah. number five is JoJo. I don't know how Araki does it, but it seems like he just gets better and better as he keeps going. And this is another one of them niggas that's been going on since the mid 80s. Like, this shit's been going out since 1987. All his parts, he just keeps finding a new way to make me scratch my head. In a good way. Yeah. I'd be like, bro, what the fuck is going on? But in a good way. (laughs) Hard to be unknown. I can say that. Like, I'm so, I'm actually really tired. Of people talk about some, oh, Steel Ball Run is the GOAT. Nothing can come close. And I'm like, yeah, I really like Steel Ball Run. I think it's the best part. But Jojolion was close for a very, very, very long time. At one point, I thought it was better. And the parts before it, Stone Ocean, uh, Diamond is Unbreakable, Battle Tendency, all those parts for me, they rival Steel Ball Run. So can we please stop acting like Steel Ball Run is the only part? That's worth any notoriety, because as a whole, like Lotus, I put JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I didn't put JoJo's Bizarre Adventure this part, that part. No, as a whole, this is one of the best manga series. <laughs> Igneous <ever>. niggas, <laughs> send me the rock niggas, the juice, the rokaka juice, <laughs> the, the rokaka juice, <laughs> <laughs> the juice. <laughs> nah, man, read it to Jolly on weekly was the time. I'm so glad I was there for that. Well, monthly. <clears throat> and uh, number four. This actually dropped down one spot, but Feng Shenji, Feng Shenji, I, I, man. You kind of cheated. They're technically not a manga, but I'll allow. <laughs> but still, look. Wait a minute. Is it, is it, is it technically the breaker of man, yes, uh, manhua, not a manga? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. 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 Put the breaker, we can put yeah. Feng Shenji. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Like it is great. One of the, one of the ultimate coming of age stories, um, I think this is really interesting from like an MC standpoint because the main character is actually pretty selfish. He prioritizes himself a lot, but I love his tactics. And at his core, he's not a bad person. He just, if some shit's really bad for me, bro, I'm not going to stick it out. Fuck that. <laughs> like, that's his <laughs> mentality. And he, the, this series has one of the greatest swordsmen I've ever seen. ZU, he's so fucking raw. Oh my God. And it has one of the greatest antagonists ever. Tien, you talk about overwhelming might. God. The fight with Tien at the end of Feng Shen Ji. Man. Monumental. Absolutely monumental. Great stuff. I'm done. Um. Uh, 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 lizard. Sorry. Jesus Christ. What happened to my brain for a second? <laughs> uh, my six to five. Six to four. Um, my six is Koe no Katachi, Silent Voice. Again, I'm speaking about this, yeah. Um, like this is 64 too. chapters, yeah. Um, this is uh, again, you know, standard coming of age and redemption story of a um, <laughs> of a the main guy bullies the main girl for being deaf and causes any like he causes her an extreme amount of pain because of that and as grows up he regrets it and he's trying to over like trying to redeem himself he because learns of sign her. language too right or he's learning it yeah he learns quickly. sign language he does all these things and he he's trying to be trying to overcome his power redeem himself because of his past and it's just a really heartwarming redeeming uh the heartwarming story about how hard, hard you can work to redeem yourself and um, do well. I had Koen Otachi. This actually used to be my one, two. He's my number four, but there's two more. Uh, like, it got shifted down, but I still will always love this series. 
No, that, that movie was good as well, but the manga was just a different level. The manga's but... better. I know the manga's better, but I'm saying I, I, I did enjoy the film. The, yeah, watched... the film is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what they it's like, yeah, the film is good, but it's kind of like, it's hard. It's hard bar to pass type of shit, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and in my top five, and I didn't now talk about, you know, most people have go go to Fun Pun. I love Fun Pun. Uh, this used to be my three, yes, my three. Um, he is uh, like it's just his life story of how he goes from like this upbeat, wholesome uh person guy into like devolves into the like shitty life choices he makes and all the things he has to do. And to become the adult he is, I love the artistic choice of making him in bird, um, and like so you can see how he looks, and and then how that bird devolves into different forms to showcase his mental state at the point of time where he is at. Uh, you know, Asano really hit it out of the park. I, all of my favorite parts also is the ending, where you basically see like uh, one of his friends who was in the early part of his life, but leaves of the uh, leaves in the outer leaves halfway through and like he doesn't see what the super traumatic shit he uh from goes through um uh and then he's like okay like and then it's like a concept i love the whole thing it's like it made me think like you can know these people and like they seem all right but they have these they have mountains of history and things behind them uh mountains of history and um pain and everything but you, you won't know because you weren't there to experience it shout out pun pun and uh what's it Aiko, real, uh, real fucking um, toxic relationship, relationship. Uh, Saichi, yeah. Uh, my number four. Uh, <laughs> is I, not how high you have this. I, I was waiting. I was like, I was wondering how high you had. I forget all. You have this. Really, really. This really is high. actually my number two, but but uh, my yes, number yeah, it was your number two like before. I think it was higher. My uh, Nani Master Kurosawa. This is the uh, all y'all niggas got this masturbating shit. Relax, oh Nani Master. Okay, we're not gonna see the English listen, name. Pat, I know not your thing, bro, but listen, when something is good, it's just good, bro. What can I say? Niggas creative, Ethan's all of you. I don't deny I that, think. but I, 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 I don't I deny that by any capacity. That. I'm an absolute unhinged freaky frog, I mean, I but my, my, I, honestly, I stand honestly, by the fact that this is actually, it, when the paradigm shift happens, it's a completely endearing story that comes, and you don't expect it, and, it, and it's really good. Yeah, agree. Uh-oh. And also, I'm just not somebody who's bothered by fucking weirdo shit in manga. All manga is weird. Fucking just got perverted, mm-hmm. etchy shit all over it all the time, no matter what you read. So none of that shit bothered me. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you talk. Uh, you guys talked about it, but I will say. Uh, first of all, I just. I mean, I. I. I you know, I don't want to beat the uh, dead horse of what I'm always saying, but it's it's a sta- it's a a theme in my thing of coming of age. This is like a coming of age story of a you know he makes mistakes of a boy who you know he he does this insanely horrible thing he does, and he has to he gets caught and he has to. Um, and then he has to, like, he it's does shit. Like, live with the things that he's done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he has to redeem himself. I love how he goes through the redemption of how thing. It feels, it never feels like it's like, he, he, it feels, it always feels, it felt earned. And then it doesn't feel like, oh, he said he's sorry. It, we're okay. He actually has to put in work. He has to do it. He has to feel the shame and suffering of his, he has to feel the consequences of actions first. The Kakuro Kurosawa, I love him as MC. Like he's so he like over the top calculating and like he hits monologuing all the time, but it always hits. Um, I love the ending because like who he well who he ends up with is I think one of my favorite parts is the ending because who he ends up with is is nowhere who you think it is, but it 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 works because of the relationship, and like there's actually even like um. Uh, it's like this small, like one chapter or spinoff, like web novel, light novel type of shit, which I read and it really send me, adds send in me depth. that. I didn't know about that. Send me that. Yeah, like his thing. Uh, and I like how his redemption isn't like him and the main, well, the, the girl he, he's supposed to help with, Aya. One of them gets redemption, the other one, unfortunately, can't. And yeah, uh, it's just, it is, it's an easy 31 chapter read. And yeah. Vince, you are up. 
Okay. Uh, so we're on six now. See. God damn, six is monster for me. Um, uh, I think uh Doctor Timma is one of the most underrated main characters. Everybody always talks about Johan, but Timma does not get his due enough in this he does series. Not. He does and also not. the side characters are also really, really good. Anna, uh, Wolf. It's the one with the detective that types him in on on no air. Yeah, uh, L- Luna. Uh, uh, I can't get it right now. But uh, yeah, there's just a really bunch of good side characters, really good, you good themes, and a whole bunch of good stuff that's happening as far as just medical malpractice and just the the politics that go in the medical field and just a lot of stuff with it. I really like the kind of the ten mud, like you said, traveling all over Europe and doing all the stuff that he does. So there's that. It's really, really good and compassionate, really important. Five, Gameron. Uh, just some of the best fights I've ever seen. And yes, the ending is sadly not as good as it could be. But when the fights are this good, who cares? Because this is about fighting. And something I'll always say is, what is the point of the manga that we're trying to do? This is a manga about fighting. Are the fights elite the entire way through? Yes. So that's all that matters to me. And that's what it does best. But they actually did come down. It used to be uh it used to be uh three. Wait, so that's even moved to five. And then uh four is Claymore. Hey. Another thing. Uh, Claymore It's my bitch. Yeah, I just I mean, has yeah. all really cool dark fantasy aspects, has basically almost a complete female cast, which is rare. All of them are raw, and the ending is a lot better than it gets credit for. Claire, Teresa, the faint smile. Priscilla is an absolutely insane <laughs> villain in her own right, because what the fuck? And, yeah, it's really, really good. Shout out to Claymore. Reaver, you are right next to it. Then, Pat, I'm going I'm to okay. come to you after so you can finish off and go get ready for her gotta do okay i'm going all right so my number six is mada mada dane we got to do prince of tennis i already talked about it tezuka zone what my personal favorite for sports manga it is the goat we don't talk about the new prince of tennis we just keep it because it's kind of funny Honestly, it's kind of funny. We, for a comedic perspective, we talk about it, but we don't acknowledge it. That, <laughs> and we do not acknowledge it. And then we go into this, and it is just the whole stuff. Once again, I've argued many times that it's very difficult to give a big cast. You know, this is why they always stick to usually the trio plus a mentor, is because it's very difficult to give each cast member a long amount of time for character development to feel like a fleshed out character. I think Prince of Tennis is another example that they do that very, very well. So yeah, that's my number six. Number five is the next piece of one piece. I mean, it just, one it's piece? one piece. It's gotta be on there. One piece has to be on there. I mean, come on, let me give you a kiss. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, one piece has to be in, most people's top 10 it's in my top five it it's it's there probably to stay you know it's got its ups it's got its downs for example i don't like egghead island i don't like it but uh it is what it is you know uh uh, something that's gonna run this past been talking about things running since the 80s or the 90s something that's running for over a thousand chapters is bound to not be 10 out of 10 all the time so i can take the flaws with it it's fine and uh one piece is Realistically, the goat of the uh, of the modern era, I would say. Now, uh, and yeah, and then uh, my number four is Kenshin. Mm. Gotta go. It's it's the original swordsman tale. It's the original Japanese sword manga for me personally. It's the big one that I got into. Uh, I mean. Shishio Makoto is probably one of, if not the, I've always put him in my top three uh, shonen villains or manga villains, period. He's just so simplistic. It's same with Frieza and stuff. It's like being simply evil for the sake of evil or having a very simple doesn't make them poorly written or not three-dimensional. They are just 
that that works it works so well the strong live the weak die and i am the strong so the flesh of the weak is food for the strong exactly like shishu makoto is one of the greatest villains in in manga and then he had the opposing force of mr reverse blade sword kenjin who used to be who basically created makoto shishio by trying to be a better person it's it's a it's a fantastic dynamic and also i also love the fact that sidro hiko is there another example of a great mentor character i love my mentor characters and then the uh, and the author comes out and basically goes yeah so i made him too strong so he can basically <laughs> and so i have to have a reason he's lazy that's the reason He's lazy, so he had to write him out of the story because he would have beat all the villains without problems. So I love it. I love that the manga acknowledged, like, this guy is the goat. I screwed up making him too good. So I wrote him out of the story and gave him an excuse so that the main characters can go do the job. So once again, I like the honesty there. And yeah, that's my number four. All right, Pat, finish us off. The top okay. three, baby. So number three, Kengan Ashura. Mm. As, as as everyone can see, it's, it's a lot of re- repeating series between our lists, but it's shit's just that fucking good. Like the Kengan Annihilation tournament is the best tournament arc I've ever read in my life, and for 100%. years it was the dark tournament. This shit came and it, it honestly blew the dark tournament out the water. Like. Everything that you expect, just throw that out the window. It's not happening the way you think it's going to. All these fights, just straight gas. I don't think I read a single bad fight. Like, maybe there was one or two that I didn't care for, but at the end of it, I was like, wow, that was really fucking good. Hatsumi versus Agito was not a good idea. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but now you see this nigga right here, Mikazuchi Ray. All his fights was ending in like five seconds, and it was greatness. Yeah, those yeah. were good fights. Yeah, where you come yeah. from? I'm not including King on Omega because that's kind of its own thing. But King on Ashura, so fucking good. Oh my yeah. god! I didn't include no Omega in mine Galilei either. By the continents. way, I never really read this, so I don't know. I just Number know two, Oma and the black guy who fucked all the bitches. Oh, Mutaba, man, he makes us all look weak in the bedroom. I always forget how much you ah. like Kingdom. You don't talk about it that often. That's why. There's not much to talk about, really. Like they're just doing their historical thing, politics. But now, nah, Kingdom, Kingdom has honestly been in the number two spot forever. Like since I read it, the first time I read Kingdom, I read like twenty chapters of one fucking sitting. It was late in the morning. The sun was coming up. I was like, "All right, let me get some rest." I woke up. I was reading Kingdom. I was doing that for like a week straight. Like if I wasn't eating, I was reading Kingdom. The only thing that really mattered was like when the One Piece episode dropped. But other than that, Kingdom, straight up. The Coalition War is the second best arc. I have ever read in my life. Everything that I held dear was on the brink of total destruction. And they held the fucking line. Like when Man Man Conki went up and set one of the fucking siege towers on fire with that arrow, it shit was just so raw. Oh my god, man. Kingdom is so good. It'll be like 30 chapters where not a single blade is being uh, uh, struck and fucking it's just politics. And I'm reading that shit like it's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. The world building in Kingdom is absolutely phenomenal. The, the military tactics, the structure, the characters, everything about this is just so endearing to me. I love it. 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 I, love it. Uh, I don't read Kingdom like, week to week, like I used to. I don't fiend for it as hard, but whenever I get, like, chapters stacked up and I binge it, I just have such a great time. I never forget why I love this series to begin with in the first place. Yo, Tom, I, I'm looking forward to seeing I the anime. in other regions, huh? Yo, Tom, Yo, Tom, is my general. 
I love her. Number one, you guys know it's One Piece. Bo, 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 I'm joking. I don't have to say anything. One Piece is the greatest piece of literature ever created. And All that, right, r- run it probably. down from the, from the, from from the bottom to, to the top, real quick, and then go to then go to go to okay. sleep, rest, make your food, go to work. So, like I said, honorable mention: Hokuto no Ken or Fist of the North Star. Number thirty: Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple. Number twenty-nine: Toriko. Number twenty-eight: Monster. 27, I Shield 21. 26, Hunter x Hunter. Mm-hmm. 25, Death Note. 24, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Yeah, 23, yeah. Gameron. 22, Veroni Kenshin. Since uh, too soft for 20, 21, Bleach. Yeah. 20 is Dragon Ball. 19, Vagabond. 18, Crows. 17, The Breaker. 16, Slam Dunk. 15, Golden Kamui. 14, oh. Hajime no Ippo. 13, Yu Yu Hakusho. 12, Berserk. 11, Holy Land. 10, Out. 9, Owl Ashi. 8, Diamond No Ace. 7, Vinland Saga. 6, Gintama. Number 5, Jojo no Kimi no Boken. 4, Feng Shen Ji. 3, Kengan Ashura. 2, Kingdom. 1, The Goat. There you go. That's past top 30. Smoking on top five. Yeah. Yeah. All right, brother. I appreciate I'll it. Watch. You got work. Yeah. I'll watch the video later to see who was everybody's top three. But All right, man. Fun. See you later, Pat. Mm-hmm. You boys all have a good night. I will do my best. Vince, take us home. All right. So my top three. Three. Tokyo Ghoul. Um, this moved up, reread it recently, like once a year or two ago, and it went from five to three. And it just has everything that I pretty much love. I think Kaneki's a great MC, and that really helps. All side characters are really good. Has so good fights, not the greatest fights I've ever seen, but good enough fights. A lot of good things and some really, really good dialogue and good art when it wants to. So I just think it's very powerful. Who doesn't know about this right now? And yeah, so two, Keegan Ashura, uh, best tournament arc of all time. Kuriki Gensai, one of the greatest side characters of all time. Greatest old, one of the greatest old people in fighting. And uh, just a whole bunch of just, you know, kind of just thinking you thought what you knew was going to happen, but then you did it. So great. That's been two for a long one. Long time. I love yeah. the king in love. I love the king in love going on right now. It's fantastic. And then number one, good ending. It's been my best manga of all time, basically, since the moment I read it. And yep. it's just, you I think it's one of the greatest you. days of all time. And then number zero, because I have never talked about this before, and I'm not sure any of y'all ever knew this, but uh, Nana is actually what I consider would have been the greatest manga of all time. I think if Nana, it actually ended, if it actually ended, I think mm-hmm. Nana would be, without a doubt, the greatest manga of all time. And I don't think I've ever said that to anybody. I got never talk about it, but I just think it does everything good ending does, but a little bit better in every facet. But it'll never end, so that's why I can't put it there. But I wanted to give it credit for once because I've never had, I've never done that. Thank you. Thank you. Good end. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna scroll down. Uh-huh. Good ending, Kanganashira, Tokyo Ghoul, Claymore, Gamera, and Monster, Berserk, Oni Master, One Piece, uh, Spell, and this this is too fast. I can't read that fast. It's too late. All right, we're done. All right, Reaver. <laughs> You're up. Okay. All right. So, three, two, uh, one. Three. All right. We're going number three, and we're going to be the shot. Look around you, look beyond. You could you make an unbreakable bond. The world around so you around is not you what it seems. I love that song. That's such yes. a song. <laughs> four kids, four kids knew. All right, they might have <laughs> fucked up One Piece, but they had solid shit, man. So we got Shaman King at number three. 
Destiny. I mean, my destiny. Anna, Anna was on my waifu list for a reason. Yo is one of the most underrated MCs of all time. He's Yo one said of one of the funniest things I ever laughed at as a child real quick. I'll never forget this. When you're like, yo, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It only hurts when I breathe. I bursted into a laughter. I have never bursted into many times in my life. I'm like, you're not okay. Excuse me. I remember like 13. I was, I was like in tears, bro. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah. So either way, Shaman King is one of those series that has one of the best villains of all time. How Asakura also has one of the best MCs. Yo has one of the best females on it. like, And and the supporting cast is no slouch. We have Wooden Sword Ryu. We have Faust. We have, And I love that certain characters, like, it's okay sometimes when they get off-screen, like, character development, and it works because, like, yeah, there's a simple solution to their problem. It's done, and then they're like, yeah, now, now we're good. And it's like, yeah, but that made sense the whole time. But nobody thought about it until all of a sudden it was like, yeah, it's good. It's cool. So, and Ren and everybody, like, Shaman King was done well. And what I love is the ending. I love the ending of Shaman A lot of people call bitch, but Shaman King, you have to remember, was canceled. And we had the Princess How ending. And then it got picked up again just to finish it because so many people hated the fact that it got axed. And instead, nowadays, as we all know, a lot of manga can go, oh, shit, I'm going to be axed in three months. I better hurry up. Shaman King said, fuck that, kept all the chapters up to the point they were going to stop, and then just went. Shonen Jump, and it, they said, fuck you, Shonen Jump, fuck you, Shueisha, and they just said, oh, you're ending the series? Well, I guess the fans will be unhappy too. Fuck <laughs> you. I'm not rushing my ending. And lo and behold, what happens later? Brand new anime, brand new manga. Multiple continuations. Yeah. Yeah. The goat. Check what happened to Shaman King Flowers. I don't remember. I was reading that. Yeah, I don't know either, honestly. I don't don't remember. It's been a while. (laughs) But but still. still. Uh, Number two is Toriko. Tori, 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 Toriko. No. 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 (laughs) I can't can't sing the song. I like the song, bro. Shut that shit. Whoa, whoa. Cookie punchy, no. Whoa, whoa. (laughs) <laughs> like that song, bro. Song's fire. We do not talk about the Toriko anime. That shit does not exist. I, I'm just singing the song, man. Fuck the anime. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we said Toriko, no. Yeah, Tor- Toriko has one of the, I think, once again, it's got, in my opinion, the greatest arc I've ever read, the Cooking Festival arc. Uh, like, I mean, Grand Knocking. I mean, that's when we knew the power scaling was on another level. When a man can tap his fist on the fucking a planet the size of Neptune and stop it from rotating casually. We knew we were on another level. And it was I don't think Minority cool. World is one of the coolest abilities. I like that ability. Minority World. Each year, I love the fact that once again, just like in Kenshin, Tarko, it was like, yeah, we have a dude who can kill the main villain. We're really going to have to nerf the fuck out of him multiple times and just give him character traits to say he will not do it. Otherwise, we won't have a fucking story. And then we and we give him Minority World. We give him a bunch of bullshit. We have the main villain in the flashback go up to him like, kill me now or let me go because... I'm going to eat and like he just Toriko was too good, man. The food power ups, they were all ridiculous. The art, like everything was just too good. I and the fact that once again, another series that yes, it was rushed, but I think in my opinion, it's one of the better uh rushed endings I've ever read. As I think as that's as fair. Uh, like, as far as rushing yeah. goes, it 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 I I think I might agree with that. Yeah, yeah, as far as a rushed ending goes, it doesn't feel rushed. If you didn't know it was rushed, would you think it was rushed? I doubt it. I'm not super happy with everything that happened in the ending, but it is what it is. And uh, then my number one is, of course, Getsuga. And sure. We got to go with Bleach. We got to go with Bleach. I'm sorry, Kisuke Urahara. 
Biakia Kuchke. Chair Sama himself, Sosuke motherfucking Aizen. Probably one of the best. Again, Ichimaru. I mean, there's Soul Society. If it's not the Cooking Festival arc, it's the Soul Society arc in Bleach. I will argue those two arcs are better than any arc in manga history. They are just too good, and Bleach is my number one. That's it. Hi. Senbon Zakura. Kageyoshi. Yes. Uh, should I go? Yes. Yeah, sorry about that. It was the way. Um, my number three is uh, Kono Oto Tomare. Uh, I said I love music manga. This is the pinnacle of music manga to me. This is my... Um, this obviously my last list I did, this was not anywhere in my top 30, but it leaped into my number three. Um, just one of the most beautiful art, uh, first of all, one of the, one of the most beautiful art I've seen in manga. Like, um, you can draw her ass off, but she can also write one of the most, uh, one of the best stories I've ever read. Well, with manga stories, uh, the story is basically just about, uh, a delinquent, uh, named Chika and, um, uh, well, studious nerd named Takazo, who decide to work uh join a club called the Koto Club, which is uh is a type of Japanese instrument, uh, like a traditional thing, and like they're, they're polar opposites, but they have to work together to revive this dead club because uh, they want to help it. Um, like Chika is a delinquent, but he's really not that bad of a person. He just gets wrapped up in this thing, and he wants to fulfill his. The dream of his grandfather, who used to be a koto maker, and wants to make him proud. But his father, uh, grandfather, actually, of course, he died way before this. But he still wants to carry on his legacy. Takuzo is a just a studious guy, but he wants to help him. Uh, he he was actually part of the uh, koto club before, but he wants to make it get into the higher heights. The whole cast is amazing, from all the people like Satawa, the main girl. Uh, she's a prodigy koto player, but she's been forced out of. She's been forced into this high stress situation. Nani, um, high stress. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, think. I'm uh, <laughs> uh, I think one of my favorite parts of this is how it flips up on the head, like some of these more common tropes. Like there's a scene where they have a training club where one of the um, main, one of the characters is having difficulties. And he runs away and is, uh, runs away, right? It runs away, uh, through the night. And it's like, in a standard manga, a standard anime shit, it would be like, oh, the MC gotta go and give him a pep talk and really help him out. But when they try to find him, he's not, he's not depressed. He's like, I, I'm bad. Let me grind it. Like, he's actually secretly practicing and getting better. And it's like, these things, it's like, it flips it on the head. Um, I think the national qualifying arc is one of the most beautiful arcs I've seen. The way he, like, the way she like depicts cultural performances like she uses like math and like space like like co like showing it through depicting it through like uh, galaxies and stuff like that it's amazing and really well done uh, my number two is a sogui lie eater um that's it man uh, i'll say this for three out uh, kono oto is not completed it's in the final arc and this and if i reread uh Gosu, it could be my number one because both of them are that good to me. Osogui, what can I say? I was here from the beginning when it started just getting started getting translated in English, man. You know, I wasn't there. I'm not going to be like one of those. I hate, I hate uh, what the fandom has become because a lot of these bums lo love just saying everything except the last two arcs are meh and the last two arcs are the only reason it's good. But I, I don't agree with that. I think, I think. And the whole every, the entire series is just that high level. I, like the first arc ends with the MC pulling a Glock and posing before he shoots down the supposed main uh muscle, the uh, the main muscle of the arc. Um, I love how oh, Hingley like to to me like uh, you know smart characters. To me, the what I respect is smart characters aren't just for smart characters that were your plan always goes uh, uh to plan you know everything you do we go to plan it's when something might not go according to plan but you can react to that and change the situation which i think uh, baku madura does insanely well like he'll have s insane in-depth plans but hey man this doesn't happen or there's a uh there's a factor he doesn't consider 
that he has to do instead. And I like how un- how unhingedly of a gambler is. Like a lot of his plans that he uh, interacts with throughout the story hinge on one winning this random gamble. And if he doesn't win the gamble, his whole fu- his whole thing is fucking screwed. I love how unique these gambles are. Shout out to the scan team because if they didn't explain a lot of these gambles, I wouldn't really understand it to the point thing. But yeah, this is also by Toshio Sako who did but two. This is his best work. His art style changed from the rough thing to do into the more beautiful ethereal thing. Is it really well to, good to see? And oh, yeah, it's really beautiful. I need to rewatch it though. I reread it. I uh, I mean I need to reread it because it might be number one. But my number one man. What else is gonna be? It's Kingdom. It was my number one before. It's my number one now. It might be my number one in the future. Um, I think Pat. I wasn't there when Pat talked about it, but. Uh, what, okay, I know it was his number two, but the best binging experience I've ever had in manga. Uh, I love the historical good, manga. It is a very good binge read. Uh, yeah, I, I love historical manga, and this is like the pinnacle of historical manga for me. Um, everything like Coalition War, that shit just hits like crack. Uh, it's not about crack. And yeah, uh, I I need to reread and re- I need to re- if I reread it properly, it might just. Stay there, but yeah, that's my top 30. Run through bottom to the top. Uh, 30 is we're gonna start for 30, right? Uh, Honorable sorry, mention. My Honorable mention is uh, Senator Sojo and the Duke of Death in his Black Maid. My 30 is Gamran, my 29 is Pluto, my 28 is Zajbel, 27 is Blue Giant, 26 World Trigger, 25 Chikon Otoko, 24 Vinland Saga, 20, 23 20th Century Boys, 22 Space Brothers, 21 Kaguya Sama, 20 Blue Period. 29, uh, no, 19, my bad, uh, Zom 100, Buckleys of the Z- uh, Dead, 18, Tetsuka, Letra, 17, Billy Bat, uh, 16, but 2, 15, Monster, 14, High Q, 13, Golden Camry, 12, Diamond Oasis, 11, Twin Sarks, Exorcist, 10, Blade of the Mortal, 9, Magus of the Library, 8, Great Teacher Onizuka, 7, Dora Hidoro, 6, Koi no Kutachi, 5, Good Night Pun Pun, 4, only nine Master Kurosawa, three Konoto Tamare, two Osogui, and number one, the GOAT uh, Kingdom. And that is Lizard's top 30 people, ladies and gentlemen. Thank- also, in the comment section, you guys did it in the last video because I asked, but uh, tell us what your favorite list was. Uh, uh, it's mine. Pe- uh, I think Simi's, Simi's, I think Simi's and Pass were winning in the last one, the last video, if I remember correctly. My number three, wow, what a shock. More Nisio Ishii. Madaka Box. Y'all know where my favorite manga character of all time, Naze mm-hmm. Yoke, aka Kujira Kurokami, comes from. Griever said it earlier. The the commentary that it has on being a shonen on shonen jump as a as a genre while being a shonen jump and the satire and parody and the piss it takes out of it. Artwork is incredible. Bitches are fire. It got Misogi, Good Loser Kumagawa. It's all fiction. What the fuck you know about that, man? Real ice fire. Real Ooh. despair. Shoto, come outside, Todoroki. You're a bum. Nazayoka will show you how it was done. Anyways, wandering Eminon. I actually, po- actually posted that um today the uh, the fourth volume that I just got. You guys know how much I care about this eternal wanderer, this immortal being. The artwork is amazing. I think the story is fantastic. If you want to know what it's about in detail, I have a video on my channel and the various recommendations. You can check it out. One Piece, big shocker. Yes, One Piece is still my favorite manga, despite the issues that I have with it. Um. I think it would have to be one levels of uninteresting for two more years uh, for, for it to drop to two, but it's still number one in my manga. And now I'm going to run through everything real quick. The uh, F- Forgetful Detective, as my honorable mention, number 30. Last year was uh, Mashal. I changed it to Al Ashi. Al Ashi has crashed the top 30. 29 is Blade of the Immortal. 28 is Tepu. Black Lagoon is 27. 26 is uh, Chiwasa Reservoir Chronicles. Bless you. 25 is Bills Above. 24 is Katek Yoshihitama. 23, Prince of Tennis. 22, Maggie, Labyrinth of Magic. 21, Oni Master Kurosawa. 20, Tosagari Otome X Amnesia. Amnesia. Uh, 19 is Oritama. 18 is Ranma One Half. I don't, what do I feel like? Did I talk about Ran? I, I, like I think Vince is asleep. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Final Toko R17, Ibitsu from uh, Okada Kuzato is uh, 16. 15 is Chikana Toko. 14 is A Girl by the Shore. 
13 is Daniel Ace. Uh, 12 is Golden Kamui. Head to Koi at 11. My gatekeeper is Good Ending at number 10. Nozoki Anna, number 9. Aku no Hana, number 8. We got Dai Welgelde, Be Garuda, Be Garuta, whatever I say it. I'm not German. At 7. Crows at 6. Gintama at 5. Sundome at 4. Madaka Box 3. Wandering Emna, Emeron's Wanderings at 2. And One Piece at number one and that is my top 30 do you guys have anything to say to the people uh my list was the best and whoever is the second best is second best but yeah uh i'm thinking you're welcome for blessing you guys with the objective top 30 list but yeah Reaver. uh i think that uh you guys are all awesome and i'm glad to be a part of any type of list whenever Naya invites me to these things, it's always a blast. So thank you very I much. I liked everyone's list, honestly. I did. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Uh, we all had a lot of uh, uh, overlap, so yeah. Yeah. Great minds think alike type shit. All right, Vince, see the line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, top guys, out. Yeah. As always, I appreciate the Patreon. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Shout out to the CBLs, man. We need y'all here. Y'all be loving Bam. I feel it. But shout out to the Priest of Fire, man. Y'all might be the real CBLs because they be loving Brillith. It's Brillith gang till I die. But a big, huge shout out to the Fifth Zen Gods. Shout out to Lazy Dragon, Lucky Roo, Makai, Revenant, Sko, Shadi to your body, Simi, Tikos, Tino Brown, Zachary Cooper, Zodiac Namco, Zyler Scotty, 528 AM, Big Abdel, Big Allen, Andrew, Childish New Jabis, Tris, Fairs, and Johnny Rogers. Your support is greatly appreciated. I'm going to be making a subscribe star and put, making a big content push at the end of this year. So hope you guys will continue to support me. I really appreciate it.